a little different tonight. Uh, maybe we'll just wait a minute because it's uh, waiting for some people to come in. So. Yeah, uh, they offer me. Yeah. Okay, I'll get that Yeah, we'll yeah. have some people in first and yeah. hello to everybody who's come in. Welcome. So good to have you guys here. I want to turn up. That should be better. Yeah. So. Mm. Well, we're starting today without the music, uh, and unfortunately, uh um i think canada uh, has been lucky enough uh, to always think that it uh, the bad things never happened here uh, and yep. they almost haven't unfortunately nobody are safe uh, anywhere with that matter and yep. it can happen anywhere and uh today uh, a white van uh hit pedestrians in toronto downtown um and they say around 60 kilometers an hour it was driving when it was plowing through the sidewalk yeah. and uh, unfortunately uh for now as we know uh nine people have passed away and 16 are injured at the hospital um it's so a, yeah. it's, it, it's it's quite uh yeah stunning and shocking it was just 1 30 uh, after lunchtime people were enjoying their first night uh first day first warm sunny day downtown toronto right in the central young street if you're familiar with that yeah and uh, um that just happened and um uh, as hearing people who were there um uh, but got lucky but seeing that all happening is just uh, unbelievable. Yep, there's a, it was a very sad state of affairs, and it's uh, uh, I mentioned because the Corn Life Network, and I'm so glad, and we're not going to want to keep this tone all night because I never believe in letting. That's just part of letting somebody win for whatever reasons they did it, and um, nine people lost their lives. So we thought it's very important to start off with discussing that for a moment, acknowledging it. <laughs> and um yeah it just shows you know uh, we talk about sometimes and thinking that canada is uh you know safer we're, we're talking actually with rick and them from the corn life you know and then best friend in thread we've talked yeah. about that but it just shows you it can happen anywhere so so once again nine people have lost their lives due to a a, a delusion know. van driver is all anybody knows at this time nobody wants to assume <laughs> we'll have to just see uh Tyler says I was there an hour before the incident happened. That's right, because you're in Toronto. Yeah, That's, I've seen I your videos. I'm glad yeah. you were fine. Uh, I yeah. mean, really, it was all the, the, the chance of exactly yeah. those people being in that spot at that time. So yeah, uh, just everybody who is in the area uh, lives or works there, just so we keep you in our thoughts. And Yeah. Oh, um, best friend says she can't hear. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, Tyler. Yes, thank you for posting that. So yeah, so yeah. Um, so we just wanted to acknowledge that. Yes, yeah. yes, it's not the first time when something, uh, you know, similar, but I guess not in that magnitude. Yeah, lately, uh, Canada is a big yeah. country, second biggest in the world, but also very small in population. So uh, we all feel for them tonight uh, and send prayers to their family. And let's just hope the world gets to be a little better place after this. So I hope, Tyler, that nobody from your family or friends were involved in this. Uh, or yes. anybody listening that lives in the area. Exactly. Uh, that none of your loved ones are involved in this, even just seeing it. So. Anyway. Um, but we're going to continue on our show. Yeah. And uh, thank you guys for the time. Like I say, we don't want to set the tone with that because we'll never let anybody. That's just part of letting somebody win for something wrong. So. That's right. So on that note, we're going to pick things up a bit. And I am on a mission tonight, guys. I want to get Rick from the Corn Life Network. If anybody here hasn't subscribed to him yet, 
think of this as just a mini telethon. Um, Rick hasn't been feeling well, and uh, he's um, he's one of these people that I met pretty much in the beginning. I would say I consider him like part of my alumni, and uh, when a lot of us were trying to grow our channels, and at first there's always that rush. It's like collecting bottle caps or anything. You want as many as you can get as fast as you can. Doesn't matter where they come from. And Rick has never to this day done that. And his channel's done well. He has a morning, um, a morning coffee show. show. That's just, I mean, it's amazing. It's 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 the perfect fit for what's missing in a very hectic day on YouTube if you spend any amount of time here. And I really hope so. It's Rick from the Corn Life Network. Uh, Rick is in with us. Uh, do you want to put yeah, your uh, post? Yeah, okay. we have uh, his links to Twitter and YouTube in the description below as well. Yeah. If you miss it during the live stream, uh, but I'm going to be posting it right now. So if you haven't uh, gone and uh, supported Rick yet, go and yeah. do that and leave the tab open so you can definitely check it out afterwards. It's really worth it. I can honestly tell you that uh, Mondays for me sucks. <laughs> uh, you can yeah. see it by my tweet early in the morning today. Um, go check if you haven't. But And yeah. today I, I was watching Rick's uh, coffee talk uh, yeah. and, and it was awesome. It was so amazing. You know, yep. just uh, us having coffee on this side and, and Rick having coffee in his home and we were all chatting it was so cool. You want to post that for me? Uh, yeah, sorry, I just got talking. No, no, it's okay and I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so definitely uh, subscribe and, and go check it out. Uh, Blue Dashi, yeah, I mean, please mingle, feel free with everybody. We tend not to do that. There's already channels that are doing this a lot. Uh, Rick has just been with us for a long time. He's uh, had some stuff going on, and we're just kind of, he was a prior guest. We just wanted to do something a little different. This is only for like a couple of minutes. Yeah, but if, uh, yeah. if uh, you haven't guys done it, it's only yeah. 15 away. I mean, uh, what our streams are different with, do you get the support by hanging around with us and yeah. with people that are in the chat? It's not a, a drum roll uh, sub That's or right. sub for sub. It's just people get to know you while you're in the chat, and they're more than willing to check it out and be a part of the community, you know. So it's not just uh, subscriptions. It's also view time, so. Wow, there's so many new people in here I'm seeing tonight. This is amazing. This is really great to see. Uh, Craft Beer Pours, I, I love your channel, by the way, Reesleeve. I think I found it through Jaded, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, but, but like, guys, uh, like I say, we're look, helping Rick right for a moment. But, I mean, please, you see Blue Dashi, check out her, check out their channel and then show some support. I love when you guys are doing it to each other. I really think we're a smaller group, but I think there's a lot of great support that continues here, and that's what I'm proud of. I, we're proud of, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, like Rick was saying today in the morning, uh, that uh, you know, it's good to have the count, but it also matters if the people come back and, and watch your content, because that's what we, that's why we are on yeah. YouTube, right? And and I think although the numbers might not be as high, maybe while, while hanging out in the stream, you, you do get that uh, support feeling, though, yeah. not just numbers that quickly disappear afterwards. Exactly. So, uh, that's for, and uh, and thank you, Rick, for saying that. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and, do you want to uh, do yeah. shots? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say shut. I didn't say that. Rick is a yeah. cool guy. Then you're gonna play stuff. that back, and you're, it's gonna be I'm like the sound clip or something like that. I did not say that for the record. Hi, Sophia's passion for cooking. And, oh, welcome. Uh, cough. Yeah, Rick is a cool guy. Definitely. So if you haven't supported Rick, please do. We're just, uh, he's this awesome channel and he's been, you see, we're almost, we're around, right around, I think, 1350 right now. And there's no reason why Rick wouldn't have been there as well. The thing is that Rick spent all his time helping all the other channels out, supporting all the other, the, everybody else but us. Like what they, we didn't know till, I didn't know till later on, Xenia had showed me that went by and looked at one of their streams, him and his wife, our wife to be broke did the lemon challenge yeah and they had to, they did it in her and they said hurry up because we're going to go over to pusha's stream like i mean that you was so sweet. yeah yeah it's so appreciated yeah. i mean <laughs> it, it, how much more of a supporter could you ask for than that i mean it's humbling so i just hope if you haven't supported the corn life network do you want to put it up once more on? Uh, yeah for sure i'm just dropping the link right yeah. on and if you miss it again uh just oh 
I'm signed up. Too. And yeah, I think that would be a nice uh, thing for him. And if you know other people, uh, please let them know to, to check his channel out. And he's got a great morning show once again, great coffee show. So uh, yeah, I hope we can help him out a little bit because he definitely deserves it. So. And uh, just and I'll leave a comment, yeah. Because, yeah, exactly. Uh, he was saying he would like to support other channels oh. too, but oftentimes doesn't know who's a critic. You leave a comment with him, you're golden. I guarantee you, he's going to be back time and time again. So you couldn't ask for a better supporter. Oh, Craft sure. beers pours. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, you, thank it's you. it's not just helping him. You're actually helping your channel because you got a great uh, a great supporter back with you. I, I don't want to peddle things in here. I'm not peddling fly by nights. We don't do this very often. Just, you know, we're humans, right? And everybody needs, and after this, what we told you happened in Canada today, that's the best way to counter anything like that is by, hey, let's do something good for somebody. And he would never ask us for this. We just told him to come by. So he's a very modest person, a really good person. Uh, well, we can uh, do a little shout out to those of you who yep, are what? here. Uh, let me just check this here. I'm going to go get some coffee because I think my son forgot about me. He brought you. No, yours. no. Oh, you got no, the thermos. Got oh, the my God. Here. Okay. I have a Thank you. Um, ADJ H Travels is here. Blue Dashy 101. A bottle oh. pass. I'm, I'm yet to check those <laughs> flowers. <laughs> um bottle caps yeah i even flowers. got them sending flowers to my wife now what do you think of that one <laughs> yeah we met earlier on a, a, in a stream and he sent me flowers well, well, he's, he's, he's got susie he's got you you know he's starting to take over the whole place well, so. <laughs> ladies man <laughs> yeah yeah exactly uh bradford backwards is here hi Lou. very nice to see you come here on time right on right for the theme of today's monday talk Coriolis effect men, often short cuff, <laughs> your cuffs, mm -hmm. crab beer pours, as I understand, Nathan likes drums, Nathan was a guest in our Monday Manic show uh, a week ago, uh, Sophia's passion for cooking, and the laid back homemaker is here, hi, that we finally tracked down again, reconnected so. again, <laughs> well, I will get to you, yeah. my god, don't go anywhere, <laughs> and Three star travelers, of course, modding our Try. chat today. Try. Star. Is it like a tripod uh, then? Yes, it all falls under the same tri. It means no, three. Tree? <laughs> There's no tree but in there. But it's not three. It's try. <laughs> try is like to try, to try to do something. T -R -I She's not trying to be a star. She is a star. You heard, stars. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> you, this is where you got the scoop. So. Okay. Kind of got a little bit of a Sesame Street thing going on here. <laughs> got to keep my bottle cap. Got to keep my options open. <laughs> but, well, honestly, it's the best policy. Yeah. So. And Bradford Backwoods, so good to have you here. I know Xenia messaged you already. Uh, I went on kind of um, a blitz going back and trying to answer all the uh, messages that we've gotten. Uh, it's the double-edged sword of it. You know, the support is absolutely fantastic. And each one of you, I think I pretty much had visited today at some point or yesterday. I probably did, because I try to, every time I reply to your post, I also go back and try to watch another one of your videos, at least one. Um, I've always done that since the beginning. It's getting to the point that I just can't do every one anymore the way I wanted to, but I still give it my best. And I started yesterday morning. Yes. For about six hours, I would say. Seven hours. Well, I don't know. You were yeah, right there no. yesterday. You were there today. I would have loved no. uh, to join some more, but I'm working on the pictures right now, so yeah. I'm I'm on the Twitter. She's, pay, she's paying the bills once. <laughs> That's the no, job. I'm not paying the bills, but uh, <laughs> uh, oh. but I was a little bit more on Twitter today uh, and trying to answer some people there. Like Trish D, welcome, 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 welcome. Thumbs up, thank you so yes. much. And yes, please don't forget to tweet this live stream out and uh, press that like button and come back after and leave a comment. That's right, laid back uh, homemaker. We do what we can exactly. You know, like we're a good example. We connected very early on, and then sometimes it's easy just to fall apart. You just miss one video. You know, you don't give a like. YouTube stops sending the updates. Half the time, the bells are unrung. There's so many ways to fall apart here. That's what I think this channel is really good at doing, is keeping these connections going. There's always some new ones coming in, and I love that, because you've got to mix things up. But there's also a lot that I see here pretty much every night, or at least a couple of times a week. 
and you'll see somebody in the list and say, oh, I haven't gotten a video update from them in four or five days. That's strange. They do a lot. And that you'll go over and see, oh, there, my be the bell is unchecked or uh, YouTube famously unsubscribed me again. So it's a great way to build, keep these relationships going because I honestly believe once this all settles down that a lot of us will still be seeing each other two, three years down the road or more. So Terrell is here. Hi. The family's finally together. Yeah. <laughs> Tristar Tri Star Travelers was saying the Tennessee flag has three stars. That's right. I know already why you put it. <laughs> and uh, also, if you're just bringing of coffee, you got to check my tweet out this morning. If you want to have a laugh, you just got to see. That's how I felt this morning without coffee. So, And uh, Cops finally got a Twitter account. Well, mm. did you connect with us? I hope so. Would love to yes, uh, definitely. connect with you on Twitter as well. At Bush Studios for those who have. So it's cool yet. to see how everybody's like advancing here. Yeah. And I see questions from the beginning and I go back and see your uh, uh, see your uh, channels now and I can see right away like where uh, things have grown and that and how you're uh, like doing your thumbnails differently or putting out more contact content or your editing is getting uh, more advanced. It's, it's, it's absolutely awesome to see. Because most people here that I've met have come here, a lot was, I would say three quarters or more was a hobby of some sort they did, and then which they wanted to cover with YouTube. So, I mean, this is a whole other thing. Yes, you're great at being a mechanic or a woodworker or uh, making crafts, but this was a whole new thing to take on. And, I mean, you guys are awesome. You just took the bull by the horns and made it happen, and, and my hat's off to you. I love watching what you do. I wanted to share one quick thing before we go, before we get into our, our guests. I want to screen share this with you guys. Xenia and I are always talking about uh, using plugins like uh, YouTube, uh, TubeBuddy and stuff like that. Here's a great example of what TubeBuddy is really good for, especially if you're starting to get a lot of comments. Now, I know some of you will know about this already. Now, I'll just open this up a little bit more so you can see. Okay. So say uh, you have a bunch of comments and you got to reply to them. Instead of having to go to your separate pages to look for them all and then a good chance of missing some of them, uh, this is vidIQ. It's okay, but I prefer the uh, TubeBuddy version. You click here. You just go into your comment section. I guess I should start there, sorry. So under community comments, because uh, we'll do that right from the beginning. Go to comments. There we go. Click here and put comments that I've not replied to. And bang them. There's one. Because there's one, for instance, I saved for Xenia. So then you can go here and take this drop down menu. Is it not going to show? Oh, it is. Okay. Take this drop down menu, click, and then click show more. And now it's going to sort through, and it's going through pages. And you can see right here, it's page 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we know the first 10 pages of threads, there's nothing. So we'll try 20. Show more. And this saves you a ton of time, a lot less chance of missing what other people have written. It's a free plugin. It's the one we use all the time because it has a, a checklist for any time you upload a video or short. It will ask you, and you'll see the green markers come up when you go to your chat, go to visit that video. Even later on, you can see if you missed anything, like closed captions, if you forgot to put a high res thumbnail, if you don't have a pinned comment, or if you didn't link it to uh, the Facebook. <coughs> all things that help you uh, grow. So you see, on twenty, this is a spot that I had missed. So literally, this is what I got to go back now and try and do tonight. So, and I had ten times as much as this yesterday. But it's an invaluable tool. It really makes your life simpler. So, it's TubeBuddy is what it's called. If you're not using it, it's definitely worth looking at, and it's really optimized to help you with YouTube. It's got tons of great features into it. it helps you. That's the one too that does the uh, the list right for the tags. Yeah. You can save tags, like playlist tags and stuff like that. So like we do our live streams, so every night we can just cl literally click uh, import, 
we have it saved as a preset and it puts all the tags in immediately. Yeah, the free version lets you save, I think, two or three lists and, and then you can upgrade. Uh, ETH was saying that they would uh, definitely have to try to, but as we said before, we use TubeBuddy and VidIQ and yeah. Morning Fame, and I do also use Google Trend Analytics uh, all at the same time. <laughs> Try star. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where best best friend was here for a second. She's at work. Uh, yeah, we I seen her in our previous stream, Bottle Caps, at the very beginning, and uh, she was at work. She was also here because she's at work. She can't hear anything, so <laughs> uh, gotta work. <laughs> gotta <laughs> pay I, those bills. I'm uh, I'm sure she's gonna come back in when she's at home. If I think still Susie on. said she's coming tonight, so just uh, you sit tight there, young fellow. Yeah, know. I'm sure she'll be by. And... Susie was in in the morning and Rick's straight. Yes, that's true. He and was you there were too. too. Exactly. That's right. So. I'm Who's telling you, missing her? there's uh, no Susie tonight. Oh, you know, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, if you comment too much, you'll get marked as spam. Excalibur Media, welcome. We are another one we just connected with recently, so good to have you here. It's a pleasure. It's so nice to see some like mix of like I always <laughs> now, love that. Oh, uh, let's uh bring back uh Rick's um uh, link again. Uh, so today we have uh, two awesome features. One of them is our amazing guest, father and son duo, talking all about automotive stuff. Yeah. Uh, and the other special feature cool is uh, a Rick from the Corn Life Network needs our support. He's yep. been a uh, uh, long... Uh, supportive for all the other channels and we personally think uh, he really deserves much more support than active support than he has right now so uh, if oh. you haven't yet uh, I will drop the link and you go and check it out and leave the tab open so when this live stream ends you can go and check it out and I don't know why Andrew is laughing <laughs> does anybody hear the theme from Jeopardy going on do 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 sure. do I'm in trouble after now <laughs> welcome Ray driver another one I just found today so glad to have you here I was really hoping you could make it um, it's always nice when you connect with somebody on the first day and they can drop by. That's uh, that's pretty cool. And you definitely got to check out his uh, tech, check out his channel. So there's uh, lots of new channels, guys, to pick from. And Ray, same for you. Lots of people to meet in here. I hope you get lots of support. That's what it's all about. It's kind of laid back, but everybody's respectful. And uh, you know what? We just have a good time. There's not many rules. It's just enjoying. There's enough rules in the day. There's enough hustle in the day. This is just a time to kick up your feet, enjoy each other. And uh, I'm going to send the link to our guests. And and in the meantime, uh, let's comment on ATGH. Yes, uh, you're, they're trying to buddy right now. Oh, great. What a time saver, exactly. And that's why we're using all of those at the same time. Like you can activate on Chrome, you can have it as extension both for TubeBuddy and for VidIQ. So it will show up both at the same time because it still has slightly different features. Uh, so for me, for example, I think for looking at analytics, it's just easier and saves double the time. Yep. And uh, as I said, Morning Fame is also one of the other. Uh, things that we use. So the more you can use to do your analytics and your videos in general. And uh, also, uh, Bradford Backwoods, so we were talking about using phone and YouTube Studio app. Um, they haven't tried yet, so now they fiddled around with it some more mm -hmm. uh, since uh, Saturday and figured out how to make thumbnails. Excellent. So we are very happy great? for that. Tomorrow, by the way, we have our Tech Talk Tuesday. Yes. So uh, if you have any particular questions uh, about anything and everything, yep. uh, get them ready, and we're going to answer them tomorrow. Okay. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Maybe we'll show out, like a bit more into plugins and stuff like that, too. That would be, you know, yeah. a bit of the features. We could show you what it looks like on our channel. and then We're not, uh, I mean, we can ask. You can ask Technical. Remember, it's uh, you can ask us about shooting video or photography. 
Xenia is an amazing photographer, uh, photographer. You can ask about editing photos or videos. What? Yeah, and Andrew is amazing video. <coughs> uh, so um, always, uh, please. And yeah, I know many of you asked for uh, um, the workflow. Oh, yeah. tutorial, so. Welcome, Bye. guys. Oh, thank you. Hey, you got in. On the first try, I'm yes. so impressed. My God, you're going to make us look bad. Things are looking, My God. looking, looking too good. Hi, guys. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, first time getting on. Oh, no problem. It's great to have you. Um, I'm just gonna need you guys to talk just a tiny bit louder to hear you properly. Yeah, sir. you gotta mute okay. your YouTube video or pause it even better. You're gonna yeah. still be able to see the chat going even with the video paused and watch and listen to us through Hangouts. Yeah. Okay. okay. Otherwise, you're gonna have a headache. I yeah. swear to God, <laughs> you'll drive yourself crazy. <laughs> Welcome, Perfect. guys. How are you well, tonight? Good. Good. Thanks for having us. Oh, it's our pleasure. My God almighty. We, you're another one we pretty much, I think, right from the beginning kind of hooked up with. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You guys have been growing as well? Yeah, it's going. Uh, slowly, we're getting there. We're having it's, fun growing and uh, meeting a bunch of other channels. That's what's nice. Is without uh, everything going on, we're able to find a bunch of small channels. Well, that's uh, that's what it's all about, kind of thing, you know, and you guys are lucky because there is a big car community, so you can hook up with them as well, and and then all the other fringe ones, like I consider ourselves, you know, that kind of all blend in the gray area. Yeah, yeah. We were able to find a bunch of uh, car channels. Uh, so, some good ones we've been found. So, so what you guys want to talk about, maybe we can start with a little bit about you guys. If you want to just kind of go about where you're from, uh, you talk about your family, what got you into cars, like whatever you guys feel comfortable and like kind of starting off with. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're from uh, Detroit, Michigan. Uh, grew up a couple miles away from Detroit. Um, even now, we're still close to Detroit. And um, got into cars is when I was younger. I had family members, uncles and cousins that were always into cars, and they took me to car shows a lot, and or they work on their cars in the garage, and we were always out there and helping them what we could back then. And that's what got me into cars. And. Uh with me, I got into cars pretty much just with my dad taking me to the car shows when I was younger and just kind of transitioned as I got older to really just enjoying the hobby. That's very cool. So did you get into it with your dad at a young age? or? Yeah, pretty much my dad got me into it pretty young. Yeah, he was like six months old. I was taking the car shows and pushing him in the stroller. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think he started uh, pretty young. He was pretty young. Car guys are pretty, they're pretty hardcore, and their kids usually get pretty hardcore right from the get go. So I felt felt it was going to be pretty early on in life that you got, but you know that's nice. Now look where it built up today, where the two of you have a channel, you have a passion together for it and stuff. So I think that's amazing. Myself, it's so nice to see between father and son having that because it is something that's kind of missing today. So it's really, uh, it's really great to see, and it's and it's nice to see your son is really involved with it as well it's not just kind of like hanging with dad you both have different opinions you know stuff like that you discuss things it's like a mutual respect which is uh, really good it's, i really enjoy that dynamic in your stuff no well, thank you thanks, thanks. appreciate it oh yeah it's it's nice to have him into the same hobby because you know we can spend a lot of time together on uh, going to car shows uh, working our own cars and do, we were uh, just doing the detail and stuff and that and it, we do spend a lot of time together well, that's cool so so can i ask how old uh, uh, uh or actually let's just start by like you guys saying your names and uh i want to ask you also how old you, uh, your son oh, is i know i know steve is dad and colin is a kid <laughs> <laughs> I don't, i'm sure he loved that answer a lot yeah like, oh. you really want a lot of brownie points there with them <laughs> no, no but that's why i wanted to ask i wanted to ask how old are you yeah. i'm 16 oh. right now. wow yeah. that's not a kid anymore. i guess not you're the one who called him that so <laughs> don't drag me down with your show <laughs> no, I, always call him, I always call him the kid yeah um i'm 47 you're 47 we're kind of close and my son is 20 and i'm 44 so i kind of yeah 
I, I got that bond. He's actually driving today. Uh, he, I we grew up. Uh, I'm originally from Eastern Quebec, and he's driving, and it's like the first four hours is two lane highway. Yeah, and then four lanes. So he's driving 850 kilometers. So that's what about 500 miles, I guess. Okay, somewhere yeah. in that area, four or five hundred. And even though he's 20, lives on his own, I'm like still inside. Like I can just feel it in my chest. I'll not relax till I know he calls me and tells me he got home. So, oh, well, I know, I know that feeling. I, yeah, I have it. He started driving last year, and yeah, every time you, you see him take off, you're like, oh, come home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, especially in the winter with all the snow. His first time driving in the snow. Oh no! <laughs> it, it, but you know what? You'll be a better driver for it in the end, my friend. But yeah, I side with your dad. I swear to God, I say a little bit of my nerves and my heart go every time they see the car leave. So <laughs> it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's <what's> weird. <laughs> So do you want to talk a little bit about what you guys are? Because uh, I know I've seen your wife. I love when you guys detail your wife's car and stuff like that. I'm always looking for those uh, those uh, for a Jeep. It's a Jeep, right? Yeah, now she has the Jeep. We had, she had the Charger, and the lease was up, and she always wanted a Jeep Wrangler. That's got right. Got it. <laughs> I was at work when she went and got it. I didn't even know she was going. She calls me up. He says, hey, I picked out the Jeep for us, and uh, you can sign for it Monday. <laughs> <laughs> you're, definitely a, you're definitely a Detroit family. I love it. I, it's so amazing. You can see in your videos, even around the house and doing your wife's car, like putting on the the, the, the stickers on the back and that, like, there's such a pride in anything you guys do that's car-related. It's really cool. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Thank we you. try to. We try to. So you guys want to start off by telling us a bit, each, I'll let each one of you answer uh, about uh, what your favorite, let's say street cars, but we can bring in SUVs, trucks, whatever you want to put into it, but your top three from each of you and why you like them. All right. So probably my favorite car is the uh, 69 Charger Daytona. Oof. I don't know. I just kind of really started liking those when I was younger. And then my second favorite it's probably a 69 Mustang. Wow. And then my third one has to be a truck, a 1965 Ford F-150. You're winning me over, boy. Because <laughs> I play I play music, and nothing makes me happier when I hear somebody like the younger ones quote the classics, like I hope I can, you know, play like Jimi Hendrix. And you're yeah. speaking my language when it comes to vehicles. So I, you've got a lot, a lot of brownie points with me. He, he loves the older music too. Yeah, also, he, he listens to the old. <laughs> well, it's all part of it. It's all built around that era. You know, there was a feeling that you can't replicate with anything new today. Oh, for sure. And not that new doesn't have its place. It, it means something. It just has a different place. And I'm like you. I like that era. So, yeah. so yeah. so I guess we'll go to Dad now and see what Dad thinks. All right, my favorite one is the Mustang. Um, it would probably be the 1969. The reason for the Mustang, it's always been in our family, the Mustangs from me growing up. My uncle, my grandmother, you know, my mom, well, my mom wrecked my uncle's Mustang. And, and it was always a Mustang in the family. And then in high school, I always wanted a Mustang, so I got to 87. And then my second would be a 1970 Pontiac Firebird Formula. Oh, nice choice. I always, yeah, always loved that car, the way it looked. and everything yeah, and, and it's an overlooked car that's what uh you know it's not that's why i think that's such a great that's like the b side of a great album you know it's one of those cars yeah. that doesn't get the recognition it deserves yeah yeah it doesn't i have a friend that has one it's uh really nice the third one i'd be modern i would like to get a uh, dodge hellcat yeah <laughs> gonna bring it <laughs> maybe for the horsepower <laughs> oh it must be something have you gotten to try one yet no i haven't been able to drive one yet I have to find one a guy at a car show. It's gonna take me for a ride. <laughs> you should have told the wife it was made by Jeep. Maybe you could have got that for the next lease. Yeah. Ooh, I wanted one. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh I love cars. I'm not the I'm I um I guess it's a bit of a practical side to me, which I hate sometimes because I've thought about it. Like I I love the I love the new Camaro that came out. And there's oh. Not much that I'm like a pretty practical person. Not that I'm driving. Uh, believe me, I don't have a Yaris or anything. Before anybody thinks I'm a tree hugger, I, <laughs> so I got to defend myself. I am a country boy, grew up <laughs> rural Quebec. But the Charger is one of those splurge vehicles. 
And I just, if I had it, you know, without the kids, I could just have something just for me to take out. Like, a, it would be like a Harley to me, you know, that Sunday drive. But it's an expensive Sunday drive, but it would be an amazing one. Oh, yes, yeah. It's nice to see them bringing those models back again. It is. It, it really is, because it's almost like bringing the old muscle cars back to life now. Yeah. I guess they started a few years ago. Then what's nice is getting the younger generation and getting the cars a little bit. Oh, definitely. And just the newer ones, is, it's crazy how, what, how much horsepower and the technology they have in it. It's, it's great. Well, that's what's so cool about it. It's a mix of the best of both worlds. Like, it's amazing how they can bring in all the uh, the emissions controls and everything. The str And, I mean, we know some states, uh, provinces, too, are really, really strict now. And it's amazing how they can bring those all together and still get the car on the road this day and age and keep that horsepower. Uh, oh, yeah. I was trying to I was trying to get on the thing get on the comments. Oh, sorry. Yeah, about that. people yes. are discussing obviously cars, and I, oh, I, mean, yeah. I don't I don't know anything about cars <laughs> except for the color. So, um, <laughs> Ball Caps uh, enjoys better Camaro, but misses his '97 Mustang GT 4.6. Uh, then there is discussion about 1967 Mustang, uh, and that uh, Colin went with the best cars so, because he had a, a first pick. Mm -hmm. uh, so cool. Uh, almost things are good, except for those crappy ones in the <laughs> '80s with the little four-cylinder engine, American Muscle. Well, now everybody is just chiming in about their favorite cars. So. Bradford uh, Backwoods, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two Chevro uh, Chevelles, amazing cars. Yeah, and everybody yeah. was so amazed about you guys doing it together, a yeah. family connection, father and son doing things together. Everybody was commenting how awesome and amazing is that. There's lots of hobby channels out there, but the thing that brings a good channel together is a good story. And I know that sounds like, you know, a bit cliche, but it is true. You need some sort of a story to make people want to keep watching. And that's what you guys kind of bring to the table is the story of you two and your passion for it mixed in with some amazing vehicles. You know, it's a, it's the perfect mix for success, in my opinion. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we try to. I mean, we try to put our hobby in it and kind of put us in it and we're we it's before we even make a video we'll you know talk about it and that and he makes fun of me all the time we got to do this we got to film that <laughs> i try to drive him up that's a little bit about it. <laughs> it's but good we to work together like that yeah it it's is. not we easy have... for all dads so my hat's off to you we tend to be quite uh i know yeah. better and do what i say <laughs> so good for you Thanks. Yeah, we try. Nothing's perfect. No, <laughs> Nothing's no. perfect. So if you get this far doing it, you guys are pretty good because a lot of them get as far as clicking the on button, the camera, and they're fighting so badly they got to stop. So I think you've already crossed a lot of hurdles, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we're doing all right so far. So um, cars, everybody's talking. So you like the older generation. I think we've pretty much so like a Steve McQueen era type of thing going, I'd say, a little bit. Yes, we went to the Detroit Auto Show, and that was one of the reasons why we went was to see the Steve McQueen bullet car, the one they no found. No way. And that's one reason why we went. And actually, we I took him out of school so we could go early and see no one was there. There early, we had and it was great. We almost had the whole place, you know, just a few people to ourselves. We were able to sit and everything. We took. Uh, I'm a, what is it? It was a lot. Yeah, about 150. It took yeah. a lot. That's so cool. Yeah, but that was the one reason to see that that Mustang. It was, it was nice seeing it. It must have been. I mean, talk about one of the most iconic cars ever. Like, I put that up there with Magnums, a Ferrari. You know, it's got that. There's a certain elite car that you see in TVs that fit in that. Uh, right. Wow. That's so cool. What was it like seeing it? Oh, it was awesome because even they were showing it on the commercials before it opened. And I'm like, we have to go. We got, we got to go see this car. And it was beautiful because they had it next to the 2019 Bullet Mustang they're coming out with. And that, that was nice seeing that too. And with the Bullet Mustang, you can see all the patina on it still and the rust on the chrome and on the, on the quarter pedals. I mean, it was just all original. I mean, it was dinged up a little bit. It, it was nice to see it. It was, it was great. And it's him driving it, you know, that's what a lot of people don't realize. I mean, pretty much everything was done almost was him, you know. He insisted yeah. on to it. He, he did. He, he was back in those guys, like he's the Charles Bronson era and all that. They were the men's men. You know, they 
Yeah. They were actors, but there was something about them. They were almost like cowboys that took on acting. They they were so cool. Yeah. It was, yeah, because he all he loved to drive Stephen Queen, yeah, because he yeah. raced all the time, yeah, even motorcycles too. Wasn't there a thing that the movies didn't want him to ride motorcycles anymore or something like that? For his yeah, dad? yeah. Well, yeah. they don't want their contract; they don't want to lose them, eh? Yeah. So they put the insurance so high that <laughs> Clint Eastwood was another guy like that too, that liked to do yeah. a lot of his own falls and stuff, and yeah. Well, some good movies. Oh, uh, yeah. he just did one recently. I was well a couple of years ago with somebody. I forget where it was, and he had to fall back, and it was a pretty big fall. And they were getting the stunt guy, and he's like, "No, soup me up!" And they're all terrified he's gonna crack in half. But he did it like four takes, I guess. So yeah, I don't know if I see that. I wish I had that kind of energy <laughs> now. <laughs> What's the two? Oh, sorry, I gotta ask one last question. While he was on the bullet, now you might have me on the bullet for the next hour. Or so. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to ask about the 2019. Um, the 2000. I, I don't like this. This is like getting somebody else to drive. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good point. <laughs> She's trying to take the mouse from me. <laughs> uh, the 2019 the uh, uh, Mustang Bully or Tombo. Can you elaborate on it a little bit? Um, what was the the anniversary? It was, yeah, I think was it a? It'd probably be around 50, wouldn't it? I don't know if it was the 50. It'd be 50 year. It was the anniversary from the movie when it, it uh, came out. And then Ford wanted to uh, introduce the Detroit Auto Show, the original bullet, and then they, uh, the new 2019 bullet. Pretty much the same color to me. It looked a little bit darker. And okay. it's basically Mustang GT, but they've added a bunch of different features to it in the interior. They beefed up the uh, horsepower a little bit. What else do they? It's only a manual. I know that. Yeah. But the cue oh, ball shift. So. <laughs> that that would be yeah. sacrilegious if they changed that. I just got a picture of it up here right now. Yeah, I think that it's a little bit deeper. The exhaust. I think they changed the note on it. Okay. Beside that, I think, and the chrome grill on the front too is different. Beside that, I don't. I think the rims are a different size too. I think they did something to the intake too. Yeah, I don't so know if they, they put the Cobra intake on. They, it. I, I, I think they did. I'm not for sure too much on it. I didn't even know about this. That is so friggin' cool. And the body they managed to yeah, it is pretty nice. The charger and, and all of them they brought it back and gave it a little more newer aerodyne, but not like playing too much with it. Yep. That's that's yeah. unbelievable. It looked nice. It looked pretty good. And like the pictures that you can see right here on the screen, does it do it justice for what you guys seen? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, that is so amazing. We have it on a video. We there is one video that we did uh film it. It is on one of the Mustang one, the four booth. Well, I'll definitely have to go back and check that out. Everybody as well, if you're hearing this, definitely go to see that. You guys do a really great job of covering the the whole thing. Like I love the way you do the car shows in detail, but then also around the house, like working on stuff and everything. It's a really good mix of everything. It's not like a one horse pony. That's what I really like about your channel. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. And who's the uh, artist that does the thumbnails? That'd be me. Yes. Yeah, really? Yep. Those are amazing. Yeah. I love those. They're all consistent. Been, and... It's taken a while to get. I had different ones. I redid some of them. Up, you know, for forever. I like I'll do one and then and then don't like it and go back. I used two uh, two buddy also to help with the thumbnails. Oh, okay. And that helps with, uh, and what I do is I take uh, a picture, you know, from your video, yeah, and then two buddy, and I pause it, and then I'll add the, the wording and stuff like that to it, and it just kind of mess with it a little bit. And I've been I putting a red stripe on top, just to, you know, like a, a symbol showing that that's our channel. You do a really good one. job, and you got them random, but they're still the the same, and I like that about it. It's, yeah, it's it really is. got a good, you really did a good job. Like that's something we have a lot. We talk to other people about and uh, I tell them that it's okay. Like I've gone back and changed my thumbnails probably mm -hmm. four times in the last year to find what I'm happy with because they are so important. Yeah. That's that business card. Once they're on your channel of what they're going to look at and you really nailed it. Like it's very, very, I want to show them again. I, I just want to okay. show everybody here. I think it brings a consistent look to oh, yeah. the brand, as you say, yep. as well. Like it really shows it's your channel right away when you can see it. And even though he changed the font into it, look, eh? it's still, you know, he played yeah, it a little it, bit, it but still it's still. Pulls it together. I, I, I really like it. I don't know if you know that, but that's probably one of the hardest things to do is what you did here. So, 
it was hard. I'm learning as I go because I don't edit or, you know, filmmaking for a living. This is, I just started doing it last year. Wow. I just watched a lot of videos on YouTube, how to do it yep. and different channels. And, and I try to go out there and do it and just film and just keep practicing and, you know, and try to get better each time. Wow. You're doing exactly what we've been preaching to everybody. You're like the poster boy for it. And that's why I tell everybody, like, YouTube's got all the answers. And not just one, but there's 10 different people who's done anything that you're thinking of doing. Right. Yeah. You know, there's different levels. Some explain it faster, is slower. Some use more visuals than others. There's always an answer on YouTube for what – well, even you guys' cars. I heard my son, he, uh, his uh, wiper blade came off, and he wasn't sure because it was the – I forget what you call it, the B-clip or whatever – that locks and he didn't know what to do with it. So what did he do? He went on YouTube and in five minutes he changed his wiper blade, you know? <laughs> yeah, there's everything on there. You can, I mean, I actually look, watch videos on doing stuff on my car, my Mustang working on it and watch the videos that went out there and actually did it. Well, I mean, yeah. Some of the channels, there's a lot of great channels out there that shows how to do a lot of, a lot of stuff. Oh, for sure. I mean, why not tap into it? It's becoming like the second most popular search engine in the world right now is is YouTube for that mm -hmm. simple reason. It's like right behind Google now. Yeah, you can learn a lot. Yep. Not on it. I, even if you wanted like us, we had to repair. Uh, well, I got rid of it now because I realized it wasn't worth But I was trying to repair our washing machine. And I went on, and by God, somebody had that model in the same problem. So. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> the same problem. That's what makes it perfect. Yeah. Exactly. You can pause, rewind. So, like when anybody's doing this, if you're listening out here, we've always been preaching. That's the great thing about learning how to do video, like your graphic work or anything, is just go on YouTube. You can pause it, play it back a hundred times. Nobody can laugh at you because they're not seeing you do it. Right. That's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Benjamin was saying that it really looks nice. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Nice. Yeah, and, and, and Benjamin says that that's a good thing because he always makes us smell good with his colognes and everything. Yeah, he's, so, a, yeah. he's a man's fashion guru. Yeah, <laughs> so you got to take his word with some real salt. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just practice a lot. I mean, that's what everyone, just film it and piece it together the best you can and put it out there and, and just keep improving each time. That's what I've been doing, trying to do. I mean, I'm not using anything, any software. I use GoPro Studio. And I just try to do what I can with it. And, yep. and I even experiment and try to add stuff and speed it up and just, you know, trying to work with that. It's a free program. Well, I you probably said that like with cars. I know you guys like fast cars, same as I would want like a fast computer or anybody that's into anything. And that's right. what I always preach to people. It's nice to dream, but in the end, you don't need a Ferrari to go get milk at the store. No, you don't. They're just you like know? we always say, hot rodders. You don't need a lot of money to go fast. You can go yes. car and you can make it fast. <laughs> I love that. That's I never that's, that's amazing. Thing. So are you guys into the hot rodding scene pretty heavy? Because I've seen a few in your videos. Yeah. There's some of the customs, but a lot of us at the car show as well. Yeah, are we go to a local we go to a local car show um every usually every Saturday if it's nice out. It's in Taylor at the big boys. Okay. That's where I hang out on the weekends at night, and we we could be there till oh, we stay there. Well. Sometimes it's like till twelve. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. On and there's a good group out there, a mix. You know, you had the modern cars, a lot of classic cars, and it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big, good mix. That is so cool. I can only imagine a car show in Detroit on a Saturday night there is probably like compared to most other car shows that people pay a ton of money to get into anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's and there's like. When, once the weather starts getting nice, there's pretty much – there's almost a car show every day, you know, local, that you can drive five minutes and you're at the car show. That's, that's it's crazy. Just guys that just crazy, get together and hang out with their cars and just talk cars. That's I don't think Montreal has anything like that. Like, we have a couple of them in the summer, the vintage cars here yeah. we had. And, I mean, Formula One, you know, events, but nothing like that. Uh, no. Not even in the suburbs. In anything. Canada, you'd be getting that a lot around the same as you guys in Detroit. You'd be getting it in Windsor and those places. That's yeah. where you'd be getting that feel. So. Had a lot yeah, of that. We're not far from Windsor. No, exactly. Yeah. It's all part of the belt. I used to be a truck driver. I drove for a company called Verspeed, and I would haul parts from uh, Oshawa okay. down to Detroit back and forth, like seats for GM and stuff like that oh. and everything. Over to Ambassador Bridge, yeah. Yeah. Little side story to that one. That was back when you used to get a paper uh, 
a paper <clears throat> license when you would switch from province to province. And I got a job, went up and switched. And uh, it's a weird law here in uh, with Quebec is you can be a truck driver, but you still need another license for a motorcycle, which I think is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Meaning that you can drive, you know, 100,000 pound gross. Yeah. And, <laughs> but you can't handle a motorcycle over 50 cc's but <laughs> here's where there the girl almost added my motorcycle because she said what do you have she was learning and i said oh i have everything so she did the license and then her administrator caught it the very last second before she put it through and that was the end of that so she gave me a piece of paper and they of course they said your plastic will be in the mail and i drove for three months to verse beaten crossing the border every <laughs> day with truck parts <laughs> I went back to Quebec and I said, well, they never, I moved back home and they haven't given me my plastic yet, but here's the paper. She types it in the system and she said, sir, you got a bigger problem than that. And I'm like, what? She goes, your license was actually suspended three months ago. She made a mistake. Wow. My knees went weak. My face was white. I thought of all the near accidents <laughs> I could have had. And no offense in the States, but you guys really sue. So there's like an ups the ante yeah. when you have a truck. Yeah. It's bad here. Yeah. There's... Well, I could have ended up in prison for 10 years, yeah. you know? Like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I had to redo the written test and everything. I got away without having to do the practical, but I had to do the written for my class one again. So. Dang, they should have sent you something in the mail. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and I. Anything. I think I needed a defibrillator after she told me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that little side story. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's how, that's funny. No, I used to be a truck driver in the states. I traveled a lot through the United States, yeah. and I, I loved it down there. And uh, Detroit has that feeling into it. I always tell Xenia because, she, of course, she's originally from Latvia. I said it was amazing, and that's the one place where I seen somebody pushing a, uh, it was a homeless person pushing a grocery cart with all their belongings in the world they had, and they still had a little American flag stuck in the grocery cart. And I always tell them, like, that's something, and, you know, it's so it's so hard to believe that even down and out there was still that pride, you know? Oh, yeah, there was a lot of pride around here. There was a lot. Well, I mean, the, the the North America was built like, I mean, yes, even into Canada and those two parts is pretty much what fueled North America to move, you know? Yeah. yeah. We're big countries. We needed those vehicles. Without them, this country would have never grown the way it was. So it's pretty fundamental to our history. Yeah, it is. I think there's they have some plants in Canada. I don't know if it's in Windsor. Yep, Windsor and Oshawa. Yeah. Uh, they did close one, I think, recently with, the G, uh, with GM. And then they opened the new one where they build a uh, plane. Yes, parts, that's right. Yes, know? they had to change it over. So yeah, plain parts. Well, now with NAFTA back and forth, it's kind of hard. You know, they're kind of standing, but hopefully that will all get settled soon. <laughs> yeah, they want to build a new bridge from uh, Windsor into Detroit. Yes. Well, it's it's tied to that. Sar Have you ever been through the Sarnia Tunnel? No, no, never been there. Well, you ben, guys are car guys. Detroit you'll know what I, What's that? The Detroit Windsor Tunnel. I've been in that a few times. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they call it the Canadian side. They just call it the Sarnia Tunnel. Excuse me. Okay. Sorry right, about yeah. that. That's just local <laughs> flag. <laughs> I yeah, was going that, through that. Right. And I blew it. I had an '88 Freightliner, and I blew the turbo going through that tunnel. <laughs> I, that was had to be loud. <laughs> you ever wonder what a thundercloud would look like inside of a tunnel? Well, that was pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fun, crazy and funny too. Oh. The, <laughs> Everybody's stopping. You could hear the cars screeching oh, to a halt, halt, but you couldn't see anything. <laughs> Thanks. There's not much room down there. <laughs> no, no, there is not. <laughs> that I can I agree with you a hundred percent. So you take away even your you, where you can't see through the windshield anymore, and yeah, it's pretty tight. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they're they're working on building that new bridge. They've been tearing down buildings in Detroit. Uh by I think it's where's it at? By, um forgot by the fort. Oh, uh, Fort Wayne. Yeah, I think oh, by Fort yeah. Wayne they're tearing down buildings. Wow. And, um, I, I think I'm pretty sure that's where it's gonna go. Well, it's it's good that it's doing. I mean, we got to keep the countries rolling together in the end. I think we're pretty good partners when it's all said and oh, done. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're other. gonna call it Goldie Howe Bridge or something. I think they're gonna call it after Goldie Howe. I no, so. really? I'm pretty sure. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, because they wanted, both sides. I love it. Because they wanted to uh, name the new uh, hockey stadium over, over with Gordie Howe, but and since I think the bridge is going, uh, Gordie Howe. Oh, the, the try to do uh, ice arena. 
Oh, so did they decide on a new name then for it for the arena? Yeah, they call it Little Caesars Arena. Mm. Yeah, same as everywhere else. They always get their names on to it. Yeah. yeah, they got their names on it. Yeah, we went to one game this year. It was yeah, pretty nice. Um, excellent. Yeah, it's a nice stadium. You ever go see the Wings play? Is, yeah, that's, that's where the Wings play. play, is it? Yeah, that's where they yeah. play. Yeah, they play at oh, the. the new, uh, oh, I thought it was like the farm team on the side. Oh, so it's the actual. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. And the, the Pistons play there too. I think. Yeah. Yeah, they play there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Yep. Nope. Well, I mean, the Wings are one of the original, you know, original teams. I mean, yep. and a great team. And. Yeah, I grew up playing hockey. Actually, I played hockey in Toronto a few times. Oh, really? About four years in a row, we would go down here for our tournaments when I was younger. Hmm. I think uh, so the name of the team we played against is Humberview. Oh, I can't remember if it was the city, Humberview Hockey League. Oh, God, know. if anybody here from Toronto is in the chat, uh, you can help us out because, yeah, I'm not sure. The name sounds a little familiar, but I don't want to say yes and be wrong. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the early 80s. Well, yeah, you and I are on the same age, so yeah. we have a lot of those stories. I understand. It feels like yesterday and a million years ago. Oh, come on. Oh. But I love the Wings. I always thought that was – like those teams, I like them, Boston, I like Toronto, you know, yeah. the old guys, the guys that could really play, you know. Yeah, the originals, yep, all the original oh. Boston. Yeah, they play rough. Well, I live in Montreal, and I've never gone for Montreal in my life, so I'm not the, the favorite <laughs> person here. I always went for Toronto or Boston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Boston's one of the teams I like. Yeah. He's Couple times I'll go, and we'll, you know, when they play the Wings, we'll go to the game. Well, this year we did. The last year we went and watched Boston play the Wings. That's one of the biggest ones here in Montreal too. Like a Boston game, you might as well almost forget about getting tickets because it's gone like that. It's so fast. Is it? They're also too like one of the old rivalry ones. Right. Yeah, they are. You can. You got to get them quick. Yeah. Or when a scalper they, will give them to you for a really great price. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to see them play that badly. <laughs> no, uh-uh. No, it's got to be reasonable. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, Boston and Montreal have a really kind of close relationship because we're kind of the same size city. Yeah. It's uh, heavily Irish-based, and there's always been like a – I don't even want to say love-hate because it's mostly been love. You know, except right. when it comes to hockey, but it's kind of a friendly – Hate okay. rivalry when just yeah. when the hockey yeah. guys are going. Yeah, it's a friendly so like Montreal guys go down to Boston or Boston guys come up here and it's just like they always say it's like coming home, you know? Right. Um, mm. Benjamin is from Michigan too, and actually he lives in income country. Seeing your sweatshirt sweatshirt from Central in Mont Plaza, he's asking, Are you from there? Oh no, I'm I'm from uh, Detroit, actually from River Rouge. Okay. Right next, <laughs> he's like right. I might go and visit them someday. <laughs> Michigan sweatshirt. Well, did you grow up in Detroit? Um, about a mile away. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Yeah. So you're born and raised. Yeah. No. Do you got you got the 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 the, 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 the engines are right in your veins? We'll say. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Was well, yeah. Because when I was younger, when they had the Grand Prix downtown Detroit, you used to be able to hear the echo. Oh yeah, the, the engines. So I mean, there's there's all all kinds of auto stuff going on, and then in Pontiac they built a new racetrack. What two years ago? I think so. When we went, too. and um, a road course, and they built garages where people can buy garages and keep their stuff there, and they have events there every weekend. Nice. When it comes to so I mean, there's always somewhere to go on a weekend if the weather is decent. You guys will have to make a road trip sometime and come up to Montreal to watch the Formula One race. Yeah, yeah that'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. We were checking out the booth at the, what was it, the auto show? What was it? Um, the Grand Prix. I think so, yeah. Yeah, they had a set little setup. Yeah, they raced on an island. It was actually, the island is partially made when they dug the metro system, the, the subway in Montreal. They took all the dirt over there and helped build up that island that they race on to now. It was okay. built from a, yeah, that'd be a nice race. I have to look that up. The Montreal F1s. Yeah, Montreal is the city has never been closed for a snowstorm since 1971 because of that metro. Because if you don't know that, all of the downtown core of Montreal is connected to the metro, so you never have to go outside. Oh, okay. So all the malls, all the skyscrapers, everything for about uh, what uh, three? No, 
well, I'm trying to do the conversion, say four and a half miles on each side is all interconnected and then goes back maybe 10 blocks. Oh, wow. Because of the snowstorms. Yeah. Right. And now we have a we have a track for Grand uh, Formula One because of it. So I guess it was a win win. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we had e race here last year. They shut down part of the city. It was the first uh, big e race. Uh, it was all electric cars. Uh, oh, that'd be cool to see. That'd be pretty yeah, cool. but they found out the mayor gave most of the tickets away to make it look like it did well. <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> Which, which, in all fairness, uh, in Paris and, and in other uh, places in, in Europe, they did kind of the same thing. Yeah, More yeah. To raise awareness, I guess, but yeah. they didn't fly too well with Montreal uh, <laughs> residents. So. It was election year, so it was yeah. a bad time for that to come out. So, <laughs> so, so he got another job now, we'll say. So. What do you think about electric cars, by the way? You can well, get into electric cars. You need to do electric I mean, cars. I think it's really good for daily drivers because, I mean, you're saving the environment, and that is a good thing, especially considering that, I mean, we don't really know how, how long we have here. So I think it's good to have them. I mean, I still think gasoline cars will never go away, but electric cars are definitely coming into the market, which is good. That's a really good way of looking at it. I think that, too, the gas ones eventually be more of a – Kind of like owning a dirt bike or owning a Harley or something. It won't be so much day to day. It will be the Sunday drives. Uh, you'll have like a bit of a surcharge for having one. Mm -hmm. And I mean, a lot of people don't need them. If you're not into cars, it's not going to change their life any. So we get to save, like you say, the environment and the ones who are into cars will get to have that kind of like luxury of having that permit to get to drive theirs, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. The Tesla's doing amazing things. Yeah. It's mind boggling. <laughs> Yeah, we looked at the Teslas at the Woodland Cruise. Yeah, they're very nice. Yeah, they're pretty nice. It's it, it's amazing how quickly they jumped when they said, you know, without any of the big manufacturers helping them, how he was able to just kind of do it himself is, I mean, it's amazing. That's yeah. impressive. Yeah. yeah. How fast was they going? What one? All the yeah. roads. Yeah. I think it's yeah. like a sixty-one point nine seconds. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's crazy. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> Electric car, just yeah. I, what was the quarter? Do you remember? I forgot that video we were watching. Uh, do you think we're gonna ever uh, reach the level where there are gonna be flying cars? Oh, she's always on this <laughs> thing. I'm sorry, she got some Jetson fantasy all the time. <laughs> I'm never gonna Jetson. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it would be cool if they did it, but. I mean, I don't know. People can't drive on the roads. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Now she wants to make them pilots. Well, you know? like 25 years ago, I mean, would whoever be... would have thought of self-driving cars, you know, flooding the streets. Right. And there we are. They're coming, you know. And but that's big self-driving. They don't have to touch the wheel. I don't want them flying into me everywhere. <laughs> I'm terrified. Yeah, if they have uh, self-flying. <laughs> it might be for flying. You guys were very gracious with your answer on that, by the way. I okay. <laughs> was back to you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the uh, Tesla, the new semis? Did they have them at the show? I know they're still concept, but did they have cutout or anything? Like, um, well, just that one vehicle. Remember yeah. the one with all the sensors? Yeah, I have to add a video. Fun. We did take one. I forgot the name of the vehicle, but it was just like a skeleton. In it and it showed like sensors all over the vehicle and, and other things. And I have to make a small video of it. And they had it was pretty neat because they had like sensors everywhere for the engine, transmission on the doors, you know, by the windshield, and they had it all over. Uh, I have to do a little bit more research on what, what was the vehicle, but I did take some good footage of it. Oh, that's on the show that's like, I mean, that's a whole series just on its own and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, Benjamin just asked, was asking about self-drive vehicles, which we, I think answered. He also said that prototype was made in Ann Arbor, he thinks. And uh, also bottle cap says the electric cars are junk. With <laughs> bottle caps is always such a ray of sunshine. <laughs> Johnny Pro says electric cars are actually more damaging to the environment than gas cars. Well, you would have to use yeah a lot to uh, charge up the battery because the batteries are they, they probably hold a lot. I don't know. I think yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, apparently, the pollution created uh, by creating these batteries are more uh, than gas emission. 
it's hard right now because you get so many sides like everybody's a lobbyist and you have half lobbying to bring in electric cars the other half trying to keep the oils you're getting lied to on every side and yeah, I, don't I don't know how long. i can't remember how long the batteries last how many years and then you gotta have that place so yeah that's waste yeah, and then how do you dispose them? Like uh, down yeah. the rabbit holes. <laughs> Once saw someone charging their electric car using a gas power generator. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh... That's funny. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen it. We have a, a guy called uh, in Canada, Linus Tech Tips. He does this big tech channel, and uh, when he he was brought to France to review this new car by Renault. Uh, it's called the multi-million dollar autonomous car. I'll bring up a picture of it. And this thing was crazy to a whole new... Oh, I'll find a good picture. Sorry, here, one second. There we go. I'll just... So we can share it this way. There. And I don't... There's the computer that's running it. It's completely in experimental stage right now. But what was amazing about this thing was it was completely driving on its own. And at one point, he could put on virtual reality glasses, and the road would be the same as what you were driving onto, but it changed the whole layout of the, the land around you. Oh, that'd be pretty that'd cool. be sweet. Yeah, that'd be neat. And it changed it. Like, one point, he was driving in, like, the Arizona desert, but just outside of Paris somewhere. But, you know, it's the same road, the same everything. It's all – it was it was absolutely phenomenal. I'll send – actually, when we're done, I'll send you guys the link to this because I think yeah, you'd really enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, really neat. Yeah, that would be cool to change the view on there. That would be nice. Yeah, he's sitting back and he's reading a book like this and he has a seat away back and he has the glasses on. And he, like, if you turn your head, the road is here. You see as if it was full, like, 3D view. Yeah, that would be cool. And the roof changes the different uh, styles. So you could have, like, a sunny day in the car and stuff like that. It's all uh, OLED-based, I believe it was, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it would be nice for rainy days. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Help with morning commuters, make them feel a little better. You know? Right, make you feel better. It's been a long winter. Like, well, and plus if it's driving, you could be watching TV on the way in. So yeah, if they can pump that in. So <laughs> our young man here hasn't said too much yet. So I want to get him a little more on the hot seat right now. <laughs> Your turn. All right. Um, so do you plan to do like? Is there an idea of where you would like to go? As is, is cars in your future for you're looking at like. Um, post studies and everything mechanic or an engineer or anything in that realm i was I'm still kind of thinking about going into uh car designing okay. I interested in that but i mean i could i could see being a mechanic too because it, i don't know just anything really car related is really what i'm into but if i can lean towards car designing that's definitely where i'll go and I mean, today, the way mechanics is going, the term mechanic is soon going to almost disappear. It's going to be technicians, especially when we're talking about electronics. So, yeah. Is that something you would go into as well, or would you like to try and keep on to the classic uh, fuel engine as much as possible? I would try to probably keep it the fuel engine, but if there's more of a demand for the electric, then probably transition into that. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing that on in your day to day, and the car on your and the gas on the side too is another option. Yeah, you're lucky. I, you're only 16. You got lots of time to think about that. So yeah, you got yeah. Some, two more years. Yeah, I set up some links to look into for. Uh, I think Dodge has you know different programs for engineering. Wow. I set up link to look up stuff, and he's he's got his. He's looking at a few things. No, well, still well, there's lots of time to decide. He's at least he's thinking of something. Yes, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> so you're about past ninety percent of your peers, so good for you on that. So do many as do many of your friends into cars as well? Yeah, they're into cars too. It's just kind of something I don't know. I think they just got into it more just by being a teenager. Yeah. And just wanting a car. I think it's a big thing. I think if you're going to get into cars at any time, it's either going to be when you're younger or when you're a teenager. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, show me a young man who that's not the first eye on the prize is when they turn 16 to get their license. You know, it's it's, it's just part of that. So it, it, you're definitely looking at all the magazines and stuff. But, I mean, there's a difference between looking at getting a car on the road and uh, really being like a, uh, 
a fan or a, a hobbyist into it do you have friends that are into the more side that you're doing you're into like customization and stuff and yeah i have one of my friends that he has a truck and he's been modifying that a little bit too and same thing i have another friend with like a 2000s camaro oh mm. is that too wow that must be nice oh yeah it's nice 2000 camaro i'm trying to uh, yeah they were kind of a bit more on the aerodynamic side those ones they a little smoother yeah they, were, yeah, they went a little bit smoother on that, that 2000s yeah maybe a pontiac fiero would be a fun project car oh yeah for sure you have I just, one i used to have one <laughs> did you oh. uh, my yeah, old it's a fiero <laughs> emblem on it oh my oh. god oh my that's so cool <laughs> yeah well, i had a fiero yeah he's been wearing my uh the charm is his fear a lot of it. That's funny. <laughs> that is so cool. I, Cause I, of course I couldn't see it from here, but that's such yeah. a coincidence. My God <laughs> almighty. I almost bought one one time. Well, that was Camaro our age. Time you know. is impressed. Oh, Camaro yeah. time is impressed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> that's one of yeah. your peers. I believe that was a fun car to drive. They were, yeah. they were they really were fun. fun though. They were everything and they were still compact enough. You know, they weren't such a nuisance on the road. You know what I mean? They had everything for a young man that were a decent price. The engine in the back yeah. was kind of fun. And they did. They were fun to drive. I you just see one. Of oh, sorry. You don't see too many now. You don't see many of them on the road. I just or found one the other week at one of these. We call it, uh, the name of this one is Kenny U Pole, one of those pick, pick and pull places or scrapyards. Yeah. And I've seen can. one. <laughs> I thought about it for a minute. <laughs> Heck yeah. But yeah. he was pretty picked to pieces. I don't think I could have brought him home too well. <laughs> yeah, there's not much to him, too. I mean, working on him or fixing him would be would be hard to do. Oh, I, I would think just getting oh. availability. Yeah. Yeah. And the people that feel that have them together, they want a fortune for those things. Yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't looked up what the prices are going for them. I know back a few years ago, they were real cheap. I mean, you couldn't give them away. Yeah, no, they go through phases, and then all of a sudden, two kids think they're hot, and then that's the end right. of it, you know? Maybe in a few more years, they'll go up in value. Oh, there'll always be a market for something like that. It will come around, you know? It's it's, it's cool when it's not to be cool type of thing. Right. So. They'll come around. <laughs> Remember, they used to put the, uh, the uh, Ferrari kits on them. Yeah, yeah, I have pictures of the Ferrari kits that were on them. I know yeah. a pizza delivery guy that had the kit on to it, delivering pizzas yeah. on a Ferrari. <laughs> The interiors of Fiero got a Ferrari kit. <laughs> he looked <laughs> cost more for the kit than the car did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Came I want to be young and have money, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My very first car was a 1986 Ford Lynx. How sexy is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine was. Well, I had the Ram Charger out of sell. i share it with my brother. Oh. Then after working, I saved up for a 76 Camaro. That was oh, my okay, yeah. well, car. I me beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to work and was saving for that one. My brother wrecked the Ram Charger. Oh, no. Ram was, yeah, he wrecked, he wrecked it. And then I got a good deal on that Camaro. I wish I never sold that thing. Everybody who's ever had a Camaro wishes they never sold it. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, we seen one the other day. Sun yeah. Sunday, we went to a swap meet Sunday. And we seen a '76 Camaro that's for sale. We wanted too much. Uh, I had at a night. Um, a friend and I, we went up to this guy uh, we used to party with. He's like, "Oh, my brother's got a couple of Camaros." So we drove. It was like an hour above Montreal, right in the sticks, and he had two, two 1982 company modified uh, 400s, uh, 1982 Camaros. Okay. Yeah. And one was black with lime green pinstriping, and the other one was lime green with black pinstriping. All you were <laughs> missing was the Hot Wheels box. Like, <laughs> yeah, almost like a Hot Wheel. We bought the two of them for four hundred dollars Canadian, which today would come out to probably what three hundred twenty US. Yeah. And we took off with them, and it was the best summer of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get any ideas. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can feel you already. <laughs> I'm actually still driving the very first vehicle I ever bought new, and it's a 2005 Mazda Tribute. Okay. Yeah, those Mazdas have been forever. 
I, I almost have 400,000 kilometers on it, and I'm still – I've never done any major motor repair. This year I had to change struts and stuff like that. Right. I've been back and forth almost from one coast to another twice. It's, no, three times yep. even, yeah. Uh -huh. It's been in every province in Canada at least once, except for Newfoundland, and it's been in, I think, 15 states, if I'm not mistaken. That's pretty good. Yep, yeah, I'm yeah. still running. <laughs> still running. Good. That's good. What would be your favorite car if you had it, if you got one? That it would definitely be the Charger. That would be it. In a heartbeat, I wouldn't even have to think about it. As much as I like Lamborghinis, I mean, you know, yeah. within reasonable over excess, it would be the Charger, hands down. Yeah, nice. A pickup truck, I think a Nissan Titan. Okay, yeah. Those are nice, too, yeah. I know they're not the Detroit special. I and I just something about the Titan has everything European and North American yeah. kind of smashed into one. Yeah, they look good. I, I always liked Nissan. I always thought they kind of played both sides compared to, like, you know, the rest were either Asian made, European right. made, or North American. I always found Nissan was that versatile vehicle that everybody could kind of find something they liked about it. Yeah, they do make, they do make a lot. They, they make the GTR, their sports car. I think you would call it a sports car. The yeah, GTR. Yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah, they do make a you know, different variety of cars, not just expensive ones, but, you know, for everyone to afford. Yeah. yeah. And it appeals to everybody, you know, like because some people will see an Audi and say, "Oh, it's too European," you know, or Volkswagen, right. or vice versa with the, you know, oh, the Dodge. It looks too, the, you know, too North American uh, uh, stock car. -ish. They all have their things, but I just find Nissan kind of appeals to everybody at some level. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. That's just my my opinion. I, you guys are the car guys. <laughs> if you ever want to tell me I'm really wrong, you guys are the ones that do it. <laughs> no, you're right. They do make a variety of vehicles for everybody. Like and the Titan's a nice truck. It's I find it's it's a really good and it looks strong. It doesn't look yeah. all for show, but it's also not. It's got real uh, European ergonomics inside. I guess would be the way. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of foreign companies in in, in the states building vehicles. Yeah. You got BMW in South Carolina, then I think uh, is it Toyota in Kentucky? Uh, I, I think so. Remember. It might be. Yeah. Well, I even my Mazda Tribute. I mean, of course, even the keys say Ford Motor Company right on them. You know. Yeah. yeah. It's just a different I mean, top. <laughs> they're all entwined now. The, the auto companies. I mean, think the new Dodge Chargers. What's transmission that HP is it it's a, from a BMW? Yeah, it's a BMW transmission in the Charger. Yeah, and exactly. At H speed, yeah. So I mean, they're all everything's all matched. Uh, yeah, right. It's all mismatched. Like a good way to put it, when I bought the tribute, why I got it over the escape, because in Montreal and Quebec, there's more French, so they tend to gravitate more to European cars. It would hold a higher resale value than the escape. Right. But now we lived in Saskatchewan for three years. It was the complete opposite. Because I had a tribute, if I had to trade it there, I would have gotten less. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, and probably the same with you guys. You know, if somebody's in California versus, uh, you know, Detroit and stuff like that, you get a bit of that. Maybe not so much in the state, but still some degree of it, you know, yeah, or, think, or in New York, main part. I think down south, they might go more towards the other uh, vehicles, like, you know, Honda, Toyota. Yeah. In Michigan, it's mainly, you know, the American. Well, definitely. You know, I mean, or, well, you know, Fiat owns Dodge now, but they've been doing pretty good. Internet, uh, Isn't that crazy eh, how these companies came together and stuff? It's mind boggling yeah. how that ever happened. That is. They, yeah. uh, it's weird too with Mercedes because I see so many Mercedes on the road now and it doesn't have the same feel it used to. You know, I remember driving my father's friends at 86 with the windshield oh, wipers oh, on the oh, lights, yeah. you know, oh, that's a diplomat's <laughs> car. You know? I remember those, yeah. Everybody knew you when you were coming, you know? <laughs> and now today, like, I see in, in Montreal, I'm literally seeing, like, every 10th car is a Mercedes, because those yeah. 230s and stuff like that. Yeah, here would be... You see them once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah. The upper brand, like, I'd say probably around the $100,000 Mercedes here. Yeah. But you see, these ones are going for, like, in uh, $30,000 Canadian. They're competing with, like, a Toyota... You know, a, a midsize or a Honda Accord, that range now. It's it's so it's almost like they sold out a bit and lost the integrity that used to make them such a great car. They still make great high end ones. Right. Yeah, because that's what we mainly see is the high end. Yeah. You know, if you see them on a road, it'd be the high end. Same thing with Audi. 
in BMW and that it's more of the high end. Everyone pretty much is, is everyone has, you know, whatever the Dodge Ford, you know, or, or trucks, a lot of trucks. Yeah. Every, well, here we every, we all have pickup trucks. <laughs> well, Ontario is the same way. I mean, everybody's got a pickup truck, you know, because I mean that's just part of the Rust Belt, in my opinion, you know. Yeah, yeah. the in the winters and that they're useful. Well, yeah. Uh, in Montreal, I mean, you see a decent uh, okay, but not like uh, not like Toronto. But now, when you get out of the city, because it's very funny, they think French people may think like, "Oh, la ti da," eating baguettes. These guys are like hillbillies times a hundred. <laughs> they, they they go right to max on everything. If they go to a country show of like Alan Jackson's in, I mean, yeah. they dress like they just got off a horse. It's like these great big oversized chaps, cowboy hats, big tacky buckles. I mean, everything. It's like a Halloween costume, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And they love their lift kits. Like everything is. Oh, yeah. They just actually had to pass along Quebec. You're not allowed to go. I think it's more than two or three inches now. Yeah, some of them get pretty high in their trucks. Well, yeah, yeah. Some of them you need a rope ladder to get in. <laughs> we see a lot of Jeep around here. Oh, yeah. Everyone's got a Jeep Wrangler. Oh yeah. So how's your wife liking her vehicle? Oh, she loves it. Yeah. That was she's been wanting a Wrangler for a long time, and uh, yeah, she finally got it. She's been happy. She let she she keeps it cleaner now, and she's more now she's worried about where she parks and, and stuff like that. It's funny. Because the partner, she didn't care. You know, he can make me clean it up. Yeah. Now she's clean, and then it's 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 pretty neat watching her. Is she involved with you guys in like going to car shows and stuff like that? Does she do anything? Uh sometimes. If yeah. there's, as long as there, I can, we go and there's a place where she go shopping, and we can look <laughs> at she go shop, and then then she'll go. But other than that, she won't go. <laughs> she'll, she'll walk around real quick. She's ready. ready to get out of here. <laughs> Just doing the mother kindness thing. Yeah. Okay. We spent some time. We did it. We'll check out all the gadgets and extras and, you know, air fresheners and all the little stuff. <laughs> <laughs> See if the car can fly. Yeah. Doors <laughs> home. We can drop her off and pick her up there. <laughs> That's so funny. A lot of it is just me and him, mainly just us. That's yeah. cool, though. It's nice. I, I really like what you guys are doing. I I do it with my son. I don't know if you've seen some of our videos. There's a couple of them about trains and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and I love shooting video, and I was looking for stuff to shoot. And um, I shouldn't say I don't like shooting video, but I got to push myself to do it. And I want something to do with my son, so we started doing that together. And that's what I like doing with him. That's our thing, just him and I. And uh, he started learning more about trains from it, and He's actually now kind of teaching me some stuff while we're out there, telling me what he read up on or stuff like that. So he does. I think he knows. He's starting. Yeah, learns a lot. He's telling me now. That's good. About the cars and filming and stuff. Yeah, it makes it you is. proud as a dad, eh? Yeah, it does. It, you it can does. See it. That's good. Well, thanks. Yeah, it's great spending time together and doing stuff like this. It really is, and it's nice we have videos of us doing it. Uh -huh. so I get old. We get older. We can look back and say, "Look at all this all fun we had," you know. So we were documenting, you know, our hobby. Yep. You know? And then we're and trying to share it with everyone. Watch it with your grandchildren someday, you know. Or I mean, it's passed down. Once it's on the web, at this point, life is never going away, which is a bad thing sometimes. But in these things, it's yeah. such an amazing thing. Yeah, we're trying to just you know share our passion. Yep. The stuff we do together and with the, our hobby. You guys are really amazing. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. I, I I I like what you guys are doing together. I really like what you do with your channel. Hun, is there any questions? Well <laughs> <laughs> not, not you are flying so, cars, you please. Are so involved. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, no, well, people just mainly just as it always goes with car shows, discussing different models of cars, like including Nissan and how bad or good it is, and different uh, classic cars that they have. Uh, down the rabbit hole, I would say she gets to drive some of the classic vintage cars every year when they have a classic car. Uh, show for charity. Uh, so mainly just to chit chat about different cars, the models uh, between uh, the guys and some girls chiming in some. Uh, I have a question. And I know it's not about flying. Okay. Cars, but Shoot. even so. Good luck, guys. <laughs> uh, I wanted to know, and it's not connected with cars. Well, maybe the answer is, uh, why the name of your channel? 
Yes. Okay. It's okay. it's part of our name actually. It's uh it's part of our last name. Really? Oh. That's yeah. smart. Yeah, and so, how do you pronounce it exactly? How do you say it? Uzolu. Okay, Uzo. now I know because I have come up with ten different versions, and then I'm sure <laughs> none of it is right. So, yeah. thank you, <laughs> it's like Uzo's like the Greek whiskey. Oh, part because they're both uh, both of them in all the letters are in our, our name, and, oh. and, and and then I'm half Greek, so it kind of like worked out great. No, oh I get it. well, That's, there you go. Up yeah. some pers personal yeah. Greek. Because <laughs> I was wondering Greek about that, to be studio. honest. That's so cool. Well, it's in the, it's, it's in our name, the letters, and and then with the Uzo part, we're Greek. It, it was hard to figure out a name. I'm not good at trying to figure out names, so it was something different. And then I can almost see it on like hats when you guys are ready to merchandise and that I think that name will work well onto it to be honest. So I think yeah. you did a good choice. <laughs> no, I like it. It gets the attention I and mean, you start wondering what does it mean, you know, like almost looking up in the translation. <laughs> and, yeah, it's kind of fun and it's not like because so many people do these hobbies. It's like Bob's trains or Andrew's cars and it's nice to see somebody put a little thought into it because it is going to be around for a while, you know, and then uh, eventually you might merchandise or whatever happens with it it's good to have something that's workable so i my i think it's did quite well to be honest oh well, thanks yeah i was looking at the our letters in her last name and just and that yeah, just kind of popped and we're moving it around and that's what's nice keeping the name it's you know we're connected to the name I wanted to show you guys i just found it i had to go digging back for this i uh i did a couple of backpacking trips in europe and then i did somewhere i rented a car I slept in this thing for two days. <laughs> There's a vehicle for you. There you go. Put the seats back and uh, go to sleep. Oh, I just slept right in the back seat. You want to feel like you're in a bassinet? That was the oh, car. Yeah. <laughs> half of the engine's in the front and half of it's in the back. <laughs> Been real cramped up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the first, it's a 0.8 turbo. 0.8. 0.8. Bradford Backwoods uh, wants to have a mini, so maybe that would be. A oh, this is beyond I, mini. I know it's not a mini, but at least it would be a look into how it is to live it in one for a couple like days. Yeah, it almost looks like a mini. It, yeah. it does. It was literally because I rented a mini when I was in Scotland. This was for the uh, Liverpool part. And the mini, I think, was actually a little bit bigger, if I remember right. Hmm. And you can say, oh, Europe, they have small cars, but even the guy running to me was laughing. So I think it was. <laughs> it was a beaut. <laughs> Actually, at one point, a bird crapped on it, and you can almost see it. It covers half the door. I swear to God, that's how small the car was. Are you guys going to come out with more train videos? Yeah, I, I've literally got probably between 100, 100 and 200 hours of it just sitting there in raw footage. They come out great. Oh, I, I like it, and I don't want to do it all the time, like we don't, because I don't want to get pegged as a train channel. Although I love right. them, so it's right. hard. And now with the live streams, I don't get to release much because I don't know if you guys know this, but if you release another video within twenty four hours, it smothers the other one. Yeah, I was kind of like I was doing that, like, but we took so much video of the car shows because we went to the the Detroit uh, car show, and I still have more videos to edit for that one. And then the Autorama, we took a bunch, and and I was just unloading the Autorama like every day, just to just to, you know get it out there so I can catch up with the Detroit mm -hmm. Auto. And I have four of them right now. I got to finish with thumbnails and stuff like that. And then there's more videos I wanted to edit. I just kind of like what I've been trying to. We've been trying to do is like if we basically film like the whole say Ford booth, and we'll have one long video on that. And then I try to break it down like what the Mustang or or we didn't take much of the trucks. Yeah. And try to break it down where you just have one video of the Mustang because a lot of people won't watch that 20, 30 minute video. Yeah. And they're going to miss out on the other vehicles that are in there. Like because right. then the Ford one, we have the Ford GT in there. Yeah. And then we have the Shelby Mustang in there. And so kind of break it down so they can, uh, you know, you can see it. And then plus you can do something another video and get more practice too. I, I, I understand where you're coming from and that's true. As much as you like to put everything together in one, what I did was actually at one point there's a one long train one that's an hour long. 
Yes, I watched it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That was an actually yeah, pretty- We took off at four o'clock in the morning and spent two days. We drove all the way to Kingston, Ontario. We had no plans. All we had was Google Maps Street View because <laughs> the 401 highway runs there. But you never go off the highway. So we were looking for all these crossings that are out of the way and just driving right. and hoping we would catch something. Catch one of them. Yeah. I put that one up because I wanted to have it as a memory for my son when we get older. Because right. we slept in the car that night in Kingston in a McDonald's yeah. parking lot. We had no plans, no hotel, no nothing. But then I started chopping it down, and that's where the foggy train yeah. comes from, stuff like that. So yeah. I'm slowly now making it sections. Yeah, the foggy part when they came out great. That was oh, kind thank of, you. Yeah, it's, the foggy part. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was at six o'clock in the morning after waking up in the McDonald's parking lot. Right. <laughs> I felt like the mood. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like oh man, I love it. But yeah. trains kind of speak to everybody, even anybody, young, old, male, female. There's just something about a train because you always see them passing. I see them every day. Oh, do yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, I work for the railroad. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm out in Detroit. W- what do you do? Uh, which line? Um, I won't say the line. Okay, no problem. That's fair. Yes, yeah, sorry. sorry about that. Um, yeah. It's in Detroit. If anybody wants to look it up, you can look up Shortcut Bridge. I'm at the old Grand Truck Line. Um, oh, wow. I started out as track maintenance. Okay. Mile, they call them the Mile now. Track gang, I was on the track gang, repairing railroad track. Um, oh, sections. That's where I started out. And right now I I work at the Shortcut Bridge. That's so amazing. Yeah. I dispatch, dispatch trains and raise the bridge for the ships that come through. Oh. Oh, he's never getting off of here tonight. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> he's, hard, but he's, son, he's, son, he's head down like, oh, God, no. Hard, too. Let's I, talk about trains. I wish I could take pictures or photos, but I can't. I'll get in trouble. So I don't. No, I know. And things have changed a lot today. Like but, that. Yeah, your best bet is just Google it. And look, it was short. Sure. I, I will definitely. Yeah. I am. It's on the Rouge River off of the Detroit River. And That's- so cool. There's a couple of ships that have some YouTube videos out that that go through the bridge on the Rouge uh, on the Rouge River. Oh man, that's so, and how long have you been doing that for? Since uh, like oh, this has been like your whole career, pretty much. No, I was. Well, I, started, I think it's been like 12, 13 years. I've been in the railroad. Really? You know, I started out as a painter. I, used to mm. paint. I started out as an industrial painter, and then from there I went to auto painting an auto automobile and then when that was kind of going down that's when um a lot of places closed up and then i was out of work for a while and then i got got lucky enough i got in the railroad that's great yeah because i mean detroit went through some hard times like you yeah. know some yeah mid 2000 it was, it was we were hit hard pretty hard so you were pretty lucky like you say to get in the railroad and not like that's, yeah it took, it took about a year to find you know the, the you know find a decent job and then it, couple years to get back at her feet mm-hmm. that's amazing well you know you built something great you know and i mean the proof is in what you and your son have today from all of it so i mean hats off to you i know what it's like when you go through dips in the recession and yeah. i've been through it as well and uh i think it's made us better people i always hoped you know it does it does because you're going through that tough time you know and you, and you, you fight to keep going you just you keep on fighting to climb that ladder instead of yep. staying because it's so easy to give up. Oh, in yeah, in a heartbeat. We fought for a couple of years, you know, but, trying. You know, you know. Lucky enough, the wife was working, and and that helped. And 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 I still find jobs. It just wasn't, you know, you know, the pay wasn't there. Right. And then eventually, just keep looking and looking, and and then finally, I was lucky enough to uh, land in at the railroad. That's really amazing. It's like perfect timing, the way they 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 did a hiring and they didn't hire a lot of people and it was just it was it was amazing how i snuck in there and, and, and was able to go get it good for you uh, yeah, that's a, that, my i always i mean as one dad to another that's something we've all been through and uh my hat's always off to you because it is easy to give up yeah it is and i mean i know things are hard but also too it's up to us to just find a way to make it work right we just got to go yeah. and keep going and try to and try to do it, yeah. But like to guys like us, and I mean, we're, I'm not saying we're exceptional to the norm. I hope at least 
that's just a normal way of thinking. But for some people, it's just too much. And they just, like, some guys are even good workers and they had everything. They just hit a breaking point. You know, it is a lot of the psyche. It is. I mean, it takes a lot out of you. You know, you go from you know, everything and then bam. Yep. You get kicked down and then you're thinking, wow. You know, especially with the here, this is, you know, the job market just dropped. Yeah. I mean, you had tons of guys fighting for, you know, two positions. Exactly. Yeah. You were just putting your app in everywhere and your resume everywhere and just hoping something would come up. Because when I took the test for the railroad, I think they had a four day event and it was packed. And I'm thinking to myself, there's no way I'm going to get paid because, you know, all the guys they tested. Yeah. And, and and I think they only hired like eight guys. And, and I think there was, what a, I think the day I went, I think there was probably about 300 guys in different hours they had total. And that was just one day. So it was pretty amazing to make the cut. So it was, yeah, it was a blessing. That's amazing. Wow, that's that's really. I I, I really I really had something. I'm glad it worked out for you. I admire your perseverance to keep with it during. Because like I say, I know it's not easy. I've gone mm -hmm. through it, and um, that's admirable. For this sure. is exactly what this whole channel is about: is to find something I really appreciate in each person that does their videos. Because we see the videos, but it's so nice to get to meet you guys and. You know, we're not a more like I always say a joke. We're not Maury Povich. We're not going to get anybody crying. There's no surprise guests. Right, right. <laughs> it's but just to get to know people a bit better. We've already connected. Right. It's nice with these lives that you, yeah, you can learn everybody's personality, and instead of just making videos, you're just showing part of yourself. Yes. And then you don't know what people do for a living or anything like that, and or where you're from. And these lives are great because you kind of you know you're learning about another channel and you're connecting with you know other people from all, all over the world yeah that's, that's it's a network what, yeah you're, you're you're meeting people from all over the places it's amazing like when we went on uh the first time on uh the james cox's live stream <clears throat> like nobody knew what we were because the name pushed the studios we were never in front of the camera right and we always joke because she she would answer sometimes to the women's channels and oh i love that cute little purse you have and i'd be like oh yeah i used to drive a semi so they didn't know if it was a man or a woman or both right. they didn't know if it were one or a hundred people we were like this whole mystique behind it you know and i found after we went on people connected with us we were doing really good but i took a big spike right after that because people kind of came back that used to see us in the beginning and oh now i get it Right, yeah, to get to understand what the channel's about. So yeah. that's what we're trying to do now when we do this is have one on each night and talk for a while and really just kind of get to know each other. I think it's really important to because I hope to see you guys two, three, four years down the road still yeah, watching definitely. each other's videos and that. Yeah, we want to do the same for you guys. Yeah, what you guys are doing is great with the with the lives and the interviewing and having guests on. It's perfect. I mean, it's it, it is pretty. It's awesome. We were terrified. We always joke, it looks like the scene from Armageddon right before we hit the button every night. We hold hands like, please don't screw this up tonight again. We were nervous too getting out. You're like, oh man, how's it going to go? <laughs> You're doing you know? great. Yeah. Are you like, still nervous now? No. I feel uh, we're never comfortable now. There you go. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> oh, there's hi from St. Otto. Oh, um, St. Otto is here. They're saying hi. St. Otto. They're yeah, gonna come in a couple of days. Yeah, Friday. Friday, we're gonna have Saint Otto on as a guest. So yeah, I remember him saying that. We'll have to check it out. They're a great supporter too. They've yeah. really been pushing. There's a lot of great supporters out there. A lot of great channels. I mean, yep. through the network. I mean, I mean, we're a car channel. I'm watching cooking channels and yep. drone channels and all kinds of amazing channels. And I'm thinking I'm not much of a cook, and I'm like, oh, I gotta try that. You know, yeah. I'm going to the grocery store, going to cook stuff, and the wife's laughing. You're not cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that amazing? You know, because before this, we were always scared to ask anybody to watch our videos because you could get nicked. You know, all it took was the wrong right. person or flag you, and you were yeah. done. Right. So in a way, this kind of helped us get over that hump because of the the whole apocalypse. The right. taboo right. was gone. All of a sudden, it was okay to kind of ask somebody, "Do you want to come see what I do?" Or to break out of your comfort zone because you guys probably still would be more in the car sector you know like 80 percent of your watchers car sector 20 percent or the gray area yeah now you might be 60 or 40 even you know yeah it was mainly you were going after the car community yeah and, mm -hmm. and the other groups you wouldn't you wouldn't even know they were out there yeah, exactly 
Yeah. And now you have a guy who plays guitar but loves cars on the side. You know, that's his second passion. Or vice versa. You guys found a great guitar yeah, player. Yeah, or them also. having a car uh, channel but actually very enjoying your trains because yeah. of your Oh, car. I never thought of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how we follow you guys to this, yeah. And a bunch of other, you know, great channels out there that we've and been on. It's good to have viewers. Like, I was so tired of only having 42 subscribers and nobody watching. Yeah, it does get discouraging. You're like, you know, oh, then you're like, why am I doing this? <laughs> no, it, it, it might as well, I was shut it down. I said I had enough. I really had enough. I was finished. And I, once the apocalypse, I'm like, I never really did it to make money. We have our business doing video. And this is where I get to do stuff that I don't do for clients. Right. But it's good to have our name in the mix, you know. At least when clients look us up, we have a presence. Right, it is. Yeah, it's good. It's, yeah, you can have it and look up. They can watch it and see what. Yeah, like, you know, we're not just some hole in the wall. Okay, they do actually exist, and some people give a crap what they do, you know. So yeah. it's been good for that part. Yeah, but that's good. Some videos I do, like the one where the '80s video where the everything's the girl with the Lamborghini Countach and all that. That was my favorite. I think I watched that a dozen times. Oh, I know. I, that's oh, why I remember the comment you said. I'm going to come back for another watch. I'm going to watch this again. <laughs> yeah, I'm so funny. honored because that's the 80s video. I always That's one of my favorite videos I've ever made because it was the video I always wanted to make. Yeah, that, that video came out awesome. Yeah, it's about 40 hours of editing in that. Yeah. It really yeah, is. Yeah, almost yeah, one of your live streams. Yeah, it took you about 40 hours. It's it's But imagine doing all that and you have 36 people or 67 people see it. It's right. like you're like really yeah yep it's yeah. like working on your car and no you know putting at the car show and everybody's not coming to see it you know right right yeah and like youtube you'll have some idiot who like uh hits himself in the head with a book and he gets 10 million views right. or, uh, it's crazy <laughs> or like you guys somebody shows up with an old toyota to and gets a thousand people standing around it and you got right. the mustang right beside it nobody cares <laughs> You guys are so amazing. I think you guys are going to have a really, really, really long. And your channel's grown steady. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, you got to get onto their channel right away and do so because it's. Uh, I'm just going to drop a link again. I'm excellent. doing it uh, every so often just in case somebody missed it. It's a really great channel. It's got everything into it. And and for somebody who just started with video last year. And thumbnails, in my opinion, are one of the hardest things for people to do. I'm very, very impressed with what you've done there. Yeah, that took a while. I mean, a lot of, lot of failing, and but I put them out there anyway, and then just kept each one I did. I just got, you know, got better. Yep. Wording in it, and and then once I got one the way you like it, and it looks good, and I just went back and changed, you know, most of them. What do you guys shoot with GoPro mostly? Ah, uh, GoPro, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So well, that's, that's cool. You ever uh, think about changing cameras? Yeah, I was looking at them. We were talking about a week ago about maybe changing eventually uh, to a you know a better camera. Well, the uh, GoPro is good. I don't mean anything into it at all by that. I was just curious because where you guys were at, if you were thinking of doing something different or well, maybe maybe down the line in the future. But right now, we're just still going to use the GoPro. It's just a the GoPro session. Um, yeah, it's, it's the 1080 one. Yeah. And then I got the older GoPro Hero Plus. Oh, wow. Those two. Well, that's good. You guys are pretty set up. Ones. They're just the cheaper ones, and they just work. They work great. Once again, Ferrari to get milk. You know? <laughs> Come here. Right even to my laptop. So. <laughs> you know, well, because when you guys shoot video, I mean, people get hooked up sometimes. And they think, oh, if I get a $6,000 camera, I'm going to be famous. It's got nothing to do with the. That's okay if you're shooting like we do, like more cinematic stuff. We kind of got to up the game a little bit into it, but that's because that's our what we bring to the table. Right. You guys, yeah. first and foremost, is the cars that are the the, the front focus, and center yeah. focus. Yeah. So you, it's more enjoyable to use something that doesn't break the bank and really get good shots. Look at the phones today, how well they shoot. Yeah, they do. I took some a couple with my phone. I'm pretty good. There's actually, was, I, don't, I don't know if you guys know. Do you know about the DJI Osmo Mobile? No, no. I shoot with a DJI Osmo, and it's a camera made by DJI that makes the the drones. Oh, okay. And it's on a a handle, so it looks like about the size of a flashlight, but with a 4K camera. Oh, all right. And then I have a Z axis, so I can walk and run, and it bounces, so I oh, don't yeah. get any shakes. Oh, yeah. 
but they have a mobile one now where you actually put the cell phone into it and you can hold it. It's literally the same base and everything, and you have controls. You can pan up and down. Oh, that'd and be pretty nice, steady shots. And I think it's like two hundred bucks US or something. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's yeah. really worth it because you get the quality of a great camera on the phone, uh, you know, and 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 then the very smooth shots because of that attachment, of it. and it's so easy to use. Because uh, I think of it, difference. I think of it for what you guys do. If you're ever looking something else and you want to like keep your cost down, so you use your phone that if it shoots well, see there it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is pretty neat. Yep, and there's your controls, the same as mine. See, the only difference is mine has an actual camera from a drone onto it. Right. But you have all your controls. You can move it around. It's not like, uh, and it, it, it's got a built-in gimbal for your phone, so you get rid of a lot of the shake right away and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Walking oh, up for for well. car shows, it takes up no room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, that's what's really nice. Yeah. The GoPro, we can we put it on the dash or on the window when we're, you know, sometimes driving. And then when I was at the the drag strip in the Mustang, I kind of had the GoPro in a bad spot. I was shaking like crazy. I got to put it on the mountain on the window. But we go to private events at Milan, and we, we run on the track. And it was it's nice. We got one coming up in May 18th. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, so you actually do some time lapse, or are you doing actual racing? Yeah, quarter mile. Quarter yeah. miles? It, for fun, we get invited to uh, twice a year to private events at the drag strip. Nice. Um, some friends go and that, and we have a good time. Well, now the young man will have his license, so, so he'll be able to do some of the racing. That's yeah. the plan. He might be, yeah, he might be doing a racing, and I'll sit back and watch. Excellent. That'll be hard. I'm sure that won't be easy for you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'll just try to keep myself busy with the cameras. And yeah. And then they would keep my mind off it. And then I already told our buddy of mine because he can run against him and then kind of keep an eye on him. So <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of a plan to keep an eye on him. <laughs> That's so I had a friend uh, when I used to drive dirt bikes, I had a CR and uh, <clears throat> his older brother did actual stunts. They traveled through Europe and everything. And I seen his brother. I always thought he was so cool. And I said, your mom and dad must be so proud. He said, dad comes every every event. Mom stays home and literally prays in the oh, bedroom man. to like come home every time. <laughs> now we know how that feels, how our parents feel. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Everything comes full circle, my friend. <laughs> I used to do a bit of racing with snowmobiles. I used to race a Thundercat 700 a bit. Those things are pretty fast. They're yeah. They're pretty quick. Now they've changed so much. That thing weighed like 900 pounds and had cylinders like this. <laughs> it was 110 miles an hour on the on the groomed track, but as soon as you hit snow, it went down to like 20 miles an hour and blew. It was like an anchor. <laughs> it died out. We see one that. Where did we see that tunnel? Was it this one? Oh, uh, yeah. It, 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 it had the long track racing track. Oh, that was like. Tunnels and everything, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was crazy looking. All light and that. Yeah, they, they extended the track on it. Yep, they can go anywhere too. Like the the speed yeah. plus the power, you can climb a mountain in like five feet of powder, and then uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. And the money too behind it, like uh, it's like fifteen grand Canadian, so that's what about twelve US. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of money for a pastime. <laughs> it is the take out, you know, up here where we're at, you you really can't ride it. You have to go up north. Yeah, like, the biggest thing is everybody goes up north. So in the summer or winter, you go up there. Take a hook on the trailer and take it out on the, on the Friday afternoon or something, yeah. do a weekend. Yeah, because we used to go when I had, I used to have a Jeep Wrangler, and I sold it a few years ago, and me and him would go up north and go through trails and stuff like that. Cool. Now we, you know, we can take the wife's car, she lets it. We just won't tell her we're going through trails. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you guys are like partners in crime. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we try to have some fun. Even dirt bikes today, I couldn't get over the price of them. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, they're gone up. I mean, that's not a hobby anymore for a teenager. Man, it's just like almost the price of like, well, not a cheap car, but close to it sometimes. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I used to have a. RM100 and it had an aluminum sprocket onto it. And like, you know, came from Japan. And 
Every time you drove it, the sprocket would melt a little, so you'd have to kind of put it back in place. <laughs> yeah, built built the last, my friend. Built the last. <laughs> do you ever do a motorcycle at all? I used to ride. I mean, I had a dirt bike um, that needed work, and then we gave it to a cousin. And then I used to ride motorcycles. And then um, I think then right when I got rid of sold it after after all the um, you know the economy took it. Yeah. I got it then, and then just never got back into it. You ever think you would again, or mm, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, but the, it's maybe if I live, we lived in the country a little bit yeah. more. Well, probably we would, but being in a city, no. It's more of a hassle than a help. Like, yeah, yeah. Now it is. Yeah, with the traffic, and I didn't really ride that much anyway. Maybe on the weekends, a few years would go out in the mornings and stuff like that, but. Everything's always hard in the city, and for myself growing up in the country, I mean, I lived most of my adult life here. It always amazes me how much harder it is to do anything here in the city, even though you have so much around you. Yeah. But if it's not a mall or, a, or a, a movie theater, it's so hard to be in any kind of hobby because it takes so much more effort just to have a place to put everything, not bother anybody, not all, you know. It, yeah, it's, being in the country, it's easier to go out, your, you know, out the garage and start riding. Yes, and, exactly. Well, have fun here you gotta put it on your truck or trailer it somewhere you know and then go ride and then, then bring it back home if you're going i mean there are places that you can go but you're gonna you know you're gonna you know drive out there an hour or so but it's just i just never got back into yeah oh well now you got new things and new uh new a new thing new goals now with your son yeah. and stuff like that yeah that's uh so a young man i have to ask you what's your uh goals for the next two years are you looking to buy a vehicle or are you looking to um i do want to get a job and i either want to either save some money and i got to save some money for schooling but uh yeah. save some for a car or put it into my truck those are my two options right now okay and if you do buy it was there anything you down that like i know it's still a little while away and anything you were really like i mean like reasonably would like to get not something like dreamland but something that would be within your re your reach, what would you be looking at? Either like a 65 and up in Paula. I do really like those body styles. Or, I mean, a Mustang or something in those categories. Something that's reasonable, but still fun to work on and all. And definitely like, yeah, yeah definitely like a work in progress type of thing like that. Yeah. That's I I want to be able to build my own car pretty much from the scratch, or at least do most of it myself, just to kind of have that experience and just have that memory of working on that car. That's cool. And I think it's good like that. You, you, It also makes you a better driver by understand. I see that more as being like a truck driver. I'm not a mechanic, but I have a better understanding of it because you have to learn more to be a proper truck driver. And I think they should be teaching that more, which is really lost today. A lot of young people have no idea what's their they, – they know the steering wheel and if it's a good sound system in it. It feels like that's where right. it begins and ends. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that doesn't make for a good driver, in my opinion. I mean, I, they don't need to be a mechanic. No. But the basics. Like even yeah. driving the trucks today, I don't know how many people I see, they honestly believe that a truck, for instance, stops the same distance as a car. Right. They no. don't. No. No. But I think, for example, with the trucks, everybody should know that even if yeah. you don't drive a truck. Of course. Because oftentimes right. people who drive regular cars that are not aware of what a truck can and can do. Yeah. They don't understand why it's going to an opposite lane in order to turn, right? So right. they don't leave the space, for example. So it has to be taught to everybody. Well, of course, they pull in front and then they hit the brakes to get their exit. I mean, ignorance is a great way to have accidents. It's always yeah. been. Especially with the weather, too. Bad weather for semis, too. Yes. The more room, you know, yeah. because it takes you can't stop. They're definitely not going to stop. Well, you worked as an engineer, you know, you worked with the trades. I mean, it's the same for an engineer trying to stop when they see something coming. You know, you just can't stop. Yeah, they can't stop on the dime. Yeah. And the same they, with a truck, it's not the same length, but it's still a couple hundred mm -hmm. feet to get to a stop and good roads. Yeah. Oh. Trailer full of weight, and, you know. You see, Xenia, I don't know if you, uh, you probably, yeah, I think you've been in enough to maybe hear. She's oh, originally yeah. from Eastern uh, Europe. 
and like their driving course over there is like light years ahead of here. Like they don't have to be a mechanic, but they have to understand the brakes. They got to understand a transmission. You're only allowed to pass your test with a manual. Uh, now, manual is more common. I mean, yeah. uh, the automatic is coming in more and more, but you have to order it as a special order if you want it automatic. It comes default as a manual. It's almost like complete opposite to here where you go in a yeah. dealership and 50 cars, three of them would be manual. Right. Over there, three of them would be automatic. The yeah. rest are all manual. So basically, you've got to pay extra to get out. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's 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 yeah. The first time I drove on the left side of the road was in uh, Ireland, and I had to learn how to do it driving a manual, which I don't do all the time anymore. <laughs> that was, yeah. uh, and it was actually not bad. I was surprised. <laughs> Using left hand, yeah. That'd be good. Yep, and it yeah. was a mini, so oh, it was up on the on the console. Yeah. Oh, it was on the console. How but was it? Uh, how was it? How did you do? Honestly, I was absolutely terrified. <laughs> and the first left turn I did, I said, oh, my God, I'm going to kill everybody in my path leaving the yard. <laughs> and after 20 minutes, I honestly forgot that I was driving on the wrong side. And the shifting wasn't bad. Yeah. Because I know how to shift, but I have an automatic. If I drove manual all the time, it probably would have been harder. Okay. I think. That's just my opinion. But I think that's maybe what made it a little easier. Yeah. So you got to eat, but so it was easy getting used to the opposite side of the road. It's Pretty weird the first exit you take off a highway because you're coming up the wrong side and you're thinking, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> but, once, but once you get over that hurdle, it was actually not so bad. And Ireland's amazing to drive into because it's terrifying and fun. All this. There's no real major highways, it's right. literally windy roads with hedges on both sides. <laughs> and you have semis coming along around the turn, and there's sheep passing, and it's 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 it, it, it's definitely gets the old blood. You want to feel like yeah. a race car driver? Go to yeah. Ireland, my young friend, for your graduation. Go to yeah. Ireland and just rent a car for a week. You'll have the time of your life. It's the funnest country I've ever driven in. Put that on your list. <laughs> <laughs> so there, you can start hitting the old man up for for travel money right now. I'm trying to help you out here. Well, <laughs> trying to get a trip out of it. <laughs> No, it was uh, it was absolutely. It's one of the funnest places. It literally feels like you're driving. I don't want to say Formula One, but like a kit car, you know. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. You, you'll have a lot of enjoyment, and it's not dangerous. It's just fun, right? But all the cars are scratched. Take the insurance because you're always going to be running into hedges to make room for trucks coming. Literally, everything's covered in a hedge. There's scratches over everything there on the driver on the other side, the passenger. You can really see that. Remember that uh, truck uh, TV show that we used to watch from uh, UK? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eddie uh, Stobart's trucking. Stobart yeah, yeah. You can really see how narrow the roads are there. <laughs> well, Ireland, Ireland has no highways. Almost, I think they have two that are actually like two lanes, two lanes, and that's oh. it. Everything else is just yeah. two lanes solely. Oh. So. I went to the Isle of Man. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Uh, it's a little territory. It, it belongs to England, but it's kind of sovereign. And they have a motorcycle race there every year, which is the, the, one of the most dangerous races in the world. Oh, is that the Isle of the Man? Is that yes. The, yeah, yeah, I watched it. Yeah, that's insane, saying, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, that's crazy. Those guys are flying. I mean, they're up in the air. Oh. Did you see any of those videos? No, I don't know the man. Yeah, they race in June, I think. Is yeah, it June? it's one week of trials and one week of racing, and it's had the oh, most. Oh, yeah. And it's right through the towns and everything. It's not a race course. It's literally they're driving through the towns like Castletown and all that. Okay. One guy had an accident, and he flies about seventy feet out into a field, and there's sheep running everywhere because they filmed it wow. from above. He yeah. lived, but there's Did sheep he? going everywhere. <laughs> like they're terrified and. <laughs> 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 who does this you know <laughs> they'd be flying yeah it's unbelievable to even believe they do 37 what is it 37 miles in 17 to 18 minutes on average i watched a couple videos of them going i'm like oh, that's crazy oh I mean, you're just flying i mean there's houses too oh yeah like, I those roads are as narrow cool. as they look there are two yeah. lanes with a tiny sidewalk and buildings made out of stone 400 years ago. There's no there's no protection, nothing. <laughs> what is that narrow then? Oh, it, it, it you wouldn't. I don't even know how they do it. 
we yeah, had a 60 inch television and one guy did it with a gopro on oh yeah and when i came back i was telling my oldest son and we sat down and watched it we're watching it and the two of us are like leaning side to side oh like, i couldn't watch yeah, yeah she was like, getting uh, like I sick and everything sick. <laughs> it was just too real yeah. <laughs> you, you should look it up sometime. they actually do the whole race there's one full lap with the camera yeah no, it's too close to the ground <laughs> uh, it was uh, funny uh river ben longbow says my daughter just started driving this year and drove for the first time in the winter she asked me what to do and i told her to just blast it right in the ditch and get it over with <laughs> 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 he's so amazing i love that guy <laughs> there's such good channels all he is <laughs> well you talk about getting rid of the middle man that's pretty much it. <laughs> guys i gotta tell you this has been such a pleasure having you tonight well thanks uh, Thank we you. appreciate it been honored to come on and yeah, we enjoyed it you really are something special. I love what you guys are doing, the way you do it together and that. Well, this thanks. is something you're going to look back for the rest of your lives and your kids, I, I know, will look back. Grandchildren, whatever you want to say, will look back and see what you've done. And I think it's going to mean a lot. This is like a family living uh, photo album. Yeah. You know? Creating memories together. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, look, now, today, you can you know, do stuff like that. It's amazing. Oh. Uh, the it's the world we live in. Back when we grew up, we you know we didn't have stuff. You know, the document, you know, what what you can I mean, can you imagine all the footage you had back then? You know, oh, the yeah. How many times did we have one roll of film in our camera, you know, and you'd have your favorite car? <laughs> yeah, all, all kinds of stuff. It's, oh, I can't use it all because I only got five exposures left, and then you would screw it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really changed a lot of it. Yeah. And uh, you guys, I'm looking forward to more videos from you. And I mean, once again, you're, I've seen the quality jump and jump and jump as you guys are getting better at it. Yeah, it's, uh, I think you're really on to something. And I mean, once again, you got our full support as always. So we got. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate we'll it. have to have you back on to talk more about trains. I think yeah. Andrew kind of yeah, uh, is do. missing the part two on this one. You're reading my mind on that one. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. We could. Yeah, we can talk trains and the, what some of the trains that run around here local. I, I would love to do that. For sure. And we're also hoping something maybe too to get you and St. Otto and, and then uh, Camaro Z and all them together maybe and have like a panel of stuff. Yeah, right? a car show. That would be amazing. Uh, yeah, I think Johnny Pro was in the chat. I was yeah. trying, yep. to, trying to get used to all this. It's pretty neat. <laughs> well, that's good. Maybe that's <laughs> something for you guys to look at doing. Yeah, yeah. It, it is quite easy and i mean we swore we would never do a live stream if our life depended on it and now look at us so i guess we're gonna there you go all your pros at it well you guys got a good thing going i mean it's a great idea i mean thank, thank you. you so much it's nice we wanted we said we would do it if we could do it our own way and find a way that kind of because i miss it video editing that's the hardest part of all this and i i'm torn because i love doing this Right. But I almost have no time now to do video editing anymore, so I'm trying to find a balance. Yeah, it is. But hard I love work. this part. When I like tonight, when you were talking about yourself and like you know during the the hard time stuff, I was thinking in my head, this is exactly what I always want to do this for. Right. It's so yeah. much different to watch the videos after you have got to know the people yeah. behind it, and I think that's what is so interesting for other people as yep. well like in the chat as well because it, we then we always connect with the human part of the channels it's not just the channel with the video even if you are in the video yep. it's still different when you you know get to just talk and about everyday things you know um, yes yeah, so you, you get to know the people behind them making the videos yeah. yes that's right and you get more of a feeling of what they do yeah it's it's pretty it, it's pretty cool uh, yeah, it's Thank a good idea so you guys are doing. It's it's nice. But you get to learn a different channel because I watched a few of your other lives when I came and it's and it's nice listening to the other, you know, guests talking about themselves then. It, it's pretty neat. You get to, you know, learn about them besides their videos, you know, everybody's videos. Well, we always bring up Muskie Hans as an example, you know, yeah. a guy who does fishing and we find out he's got a PhD in writing his dissertation <laughs> of soil samples. Like right. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing yeah. what everybody's doing. It is. 
and we see a lot of each other. I mean, we're watching each other's videos sometimes a couple of times a week, so we already have that kind of understanding of what everybody's doing. We like what they do, but it's nice to take it that next step. So, right. Saying out, I was commenting on the car auto show idea. Carol says, no, should never get me back off the street. <laughs> 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 They're so amazing. Though. I love saying auto too. They're oh so my cool. god! But, but I think it's a great idea. Definitely. Yeah. Get, uh, get everybody together. It'd be nice to get show. like four or five guys, you know, yeah. and put all together. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, get a few of us on. I don't know if you see. We did it with the music last week, last Monday actually. And I missed that. Yeah, there's myself and uh, Rezorian uh, Rezorian Buck. Buck, yeah, Nathan Drums. Nathan uh, Drums. Uh, Brother John. What? The Corn Life Corn Network, Life Rick. Network, yeah, we're jamming off. <laughs> yeah, we play guitar and drums for about two hours, just all taking turns and stuff like that. Okay, like, yeah, I have to go back and watch it. I was, I've been working a lot the last two months. This is the first weekend I had off. Oh, I, oh my right. God. Hey. Wow. You know how trains are. They don't stop. <laughs> 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 you know what <laughs> We work holidays, we work, you know, we, you know, then lately it's been, yeah, it's been pretty busy. Yeah, but busy is good. <laughs> Did you know that Bill Gates is the majority shareholder for Canadian National? Is he for CN? No, I yeah. didn't know. Yeah, we, I did with CN all the time. I, oh, yeah, I'm sure back and forth all the time. Yeah. There was a, I actually watched that one guy, the guy that I know you guys, train guys might like it so much, but I was, I just caught it. The guy that jumped on the train in Montreal and went all the way to Vancouver, the British guy. Yeah. <laughs> and I know it's wrong and I know it's not safe. Kids never do it. People die yeah, doing it. I, I'm not even joking right now. It's terribly dangerous. Yeah, it is. it is. But there's this one little tiny romantic side of you that thinks what it must be like to be on a train looking up for five minutes like that, you know? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it must be an exciting. I mean, it's dangerous. I'm not recommend, but it just must be amazing feeling at some moments. Yeah, I'm like sure. you know, sitting in a box, not a box car, but a green car, looking up and seeing the Rockies <laughs> passing you, and the you know. Yeah, it would be I'll never agree to that. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know he can't. So that's why I'm saying it, and you tell me it's wrong and never do it, so we can tell everybody never. You but I do. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a lot of them, but there was actually a guy who did it. His name was Hobo Stobes, and he just got killed not long ago in uh, Maryland. Yeah, that goes to oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. yeah, he made like three years of videos of doing it and all that, and he was saying it was dangerous and it could happen, and it yeah, can. They are. They're, They're are. not toys. No, because, yeah, you get people walking in tracks and stuff, you know, you, you can't hear them. No. I mean, how big they are, they're pretty, they're pretty silent. Even... And you won't know unless you like when we worked on track and we would have the tracks locked out locked out and we had derails up to protect us but we if we were close to other tracks even though we were clear of them and while you're working you wouldn't you wouldn't even hear them come by and you look over your shoulder and there's you know a train you know 100 feet from you wow. you, know, it was like, you never heard them as you know while you were working on the other tracks and it's good that you said I mean, that's how quiet they are People don't realize that. Like, even trying to film them is hard sometimes. People think they're like, a, you know, you can hear them coming 10 miles away. I don't know how many I've right. missed because they've just shot up and I didn't even have the camera on. Right, right. yeah. You don't know when they're coming. You know, and I'm around them every day and, you you know, and you can't hear. And they're not forgiving. I mean, it just takes that one split second. That's all it is. Yeah. So, exactly. right. yeah. you know, so that was a, that I, a, yeah, no, it is. It's a very, very dangerous thing. They're not toys. Or, and I think rail fans are pretty good at that. You know, we keep our distance. We're actually, you know, yeah. one of the engineers. Sometimes, because I'll get calls sometimes, some guys out there. And I'm like, well, as long as they're, you know, safe away, you know, clear of the tracks, they're fine. See, Montreal is actually really bad for that. And I even got trouble last spring. And I was literally standing like 70 feet away. Mm -hmm. And what happened is it's right along the highway and they mowed it. They, they, they mowed the grass. Right. And then there was a field and then the tracks. So I was standing on the mode side, away from the cars, up on top, and literally, like I say, a good 70 feet from the trains. And the, the Quebec guys are, the French guys are a little over the top, and he's like, oh, I'm going to have to write you up and probably give you 250. I'm like, am I the biggest security risk you got going now? Because I thought because the grass was mown, it belonged to the city. Okay. So just say, we want you to go. It's so simple, you know? Right. Right. You don't have to act like I robbed a bank, you know. 
usually if they get too close to guys, they'll just give them a warning and tell them. Yeah, that's it. You know, and back, you know, or step back, you know, and clear and then take your footage. And the, and the other guy came over and said, the other guy that was with them behind, he came over and said, "Listen, the buddy's just getting like, don't. You're not even bad. It's re it was ridiculous. He even said himself, like you know. Yeah, it depends on the person." Well, that's it. And he said, look at you. You're 40-some years old holding a camera. You're not exactly like in the danger. You know? <laughs> it's not a bazooka in your hand. You know? right. Take it to films. You know? yeah. yes. And you're not like some guys I've seen hide in bushes so they can get better shots. And I'm like, oh, my God. This is what they do call for. Like, are you yeah. That's what they're going to call for when you're sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> Stand out where they see you. You don't, you don't worry people like that for nothing. So. Guys, it's been such a pleasure tonight. Thank you so Thank much for coming. Thank you so much again. Yeah. It's bedtime, man. Yeah, no, I understand that. That's why I appreciate you guys giving the time to us, though. It's been really a, a real pleasure having you. Well, thanks for having Thank us you. on. And appreciate we'll get together that. soon. Oh, yeah. For sure. Thank you, guys. Have a great night, Bye. guys. Thanks, Thank everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye now. <laughs> that was amazing. My God, the time just flew right by. Yeah, I know. And even for me, not to me, I'm knowing too much about the cars. It was still was, uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's a father-son story. Is I, I always like seeing stuff like that because it's so missing today. Yeah, know? exactly. The personal connection and the story, the life behind it, so to say. And uh, he's Greek. I know. Did I you know, know that? <laughs> yeah, Did that's... you know they are Greek? And it made so much sense with the Uzo on that. I just never put it together. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, all people have been chatting along about all the different cars and different brands of cars. And oh. Electric and regular and favorite cars and bad cars. And, oh, my God, there's been a whole uh, panel chat going on. Trailer Park uh, Guy, I uh, can't wait to be on your stream. Yeah, we check can't your wait Twitter. Either. I need yep. your confirmation. Yep. Please. I just was going to message you again. I need your confirmation so I can book you in. Yeah, definitely. And I like him because he's a little out of our, uh, out of the mix from when the other, like from, because a lot of the channels I found came from like I'm a creator and stuff like that, which is great. But it's all, oh, I knew that was going to go off as soon as I touched it. It's so nice to uh, find channels that are kind of on the outside of that because then it introduces each other to more, uh, more new content. Uh, actually, had the closing of his theater the other night we were watching. Mm -hmm. It was uh, or the last night for it, I should say. Which was really cool. We watched it for a little while before we went on. Yeah. Saint Auto, all cars have a story. That's right. Marcel, hi. Uh, welcome in. Oh, welcome. Uh, touring taste buds came in for a bit just yes. to say hi. Uh, we had an amazing chat uh, just the other yeah. day. Uh, that was so awesome. They're just still working on their airstream. Can't wait to see it done and finished. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. I was just watching their update video today. So oh the, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. amazing. And they are the nice some nice weather lately too. So oh, they're still here. Hello, that. hello. Yes, yes. There you go. Uh, uh, Vern Flox. Yes. Now. Welcome, Hi, Vern. Hello. Uh, yeah. Oh, I oh, sorry. To tell Vern has to be referred to as Uncle Phil from uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And, oh yes, and Angel Dominique is the first uh, Aunt Viv, oh, so and we're the, still the, hoping the, they can kind of the soap opera. Yeah, uh, um, soap opera. <laughs> that? Now, uh, uh, getting back to the chat, I'm updating you. Uh, okay. That's how I roll. Actually, got that extension for. Uh, for a cell phone that you were showing. Oh, really? Yeah, they just oh, got good. it and, and uh, started using it. No reviews yet, but they just started using it. Perfect. And I think we that's got amazing. almost like four people saying, Oh, I want one too yep. now. And oh, so. If you guys don't want to go into high end cameras and stuff like that, I, I, I mean, cell phones, as long as you're doing not doing like uh, low light shots a lot. That is the way to go, in my opinion. Well, yeah, your your yeah. camera ability is going to go as far as your phone camera goes. Like, yeah. Whatever you could do before, you can now. But the, the difference is much smoother, less shakier, you know, and it's exactly. just much more enjoyable. So no, definitely. Uh, so definitely, it's something. If you're looking for upgrade and you don't want to go all full out for the, you know, even SLR cameras that are yeah. cheaper than DSLRs. Um, do that, you know. Oh, oh, best friend in your thread, filing home. Welcome. Hi, yeah. Um, 
She was on almost all night last night. I woke up through the night, and I always check my phone. Of course, I'm addicted to my analytics, and I looked over, and sure enough, guess it was on. The Did you need those pickles this morning? Yeah. Steph? I wondered. <laughs> I don't know. The last time I seen her, she was talking about something that needed or didn't need batteries, and I said, yeah, she's getting too crazy for my uh, I am. Um, <laughs> Last night we discovered the best friend in your thread actually uh, lives in a closet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> closet drinker. <laughs> she was a closet drinker. Yeah. <laughs> Bonjour, uh, Manoy Fish. Comment ça va ce soir? Welcome back. Yeah, uh, he was here. A while oh, sorry. Ago. Uh, oh. Yeah, uh, but uh, welcome. They're all popping in and out. So uh, always glad to see you. It's guys a real back. panther. Sorry if I know you guys. Some of you's been here already, but I got called, caught up in the chat, and forgot the. I, I was uh, chatting with our guests and. and never even had a chance to look at this chat so it's nice to see you guys here i won't yeah. less i spend less than 30k for a camera yeah right yeah exactly yeah. like a red yeah. camera no way yeah. uh i've been youtubing for a year yeah. and two months now and i've always done my yeah. videos with the phone yeah exactly yeah. well we've been talking about that a long time already that uh you know uh, it depends what you're shooting for what and phones now are oh my god so amazing uh you know even the uh, especially the newest ones you know like getting <sighs> 25 pixels and so and uh, some of them 4k video <laughs> you couldn't ask for better Best uh, friend in i'm sorry i caught her message i think your rep was <laughs> shot before you joined you please do vlogs <laughs> please do vlogs you would be so oh you would be so great Night trailer park guy. Uh, oh, thank you for applying. So Can't that's wait. perfect. Yeah. Can't wait. Uh, looking forward. To Guys, it. they he I caught him the first morning and he had the most amazing panel I've ever seen in my life. It was a mixture of like late night AM radio mixed with I wouldn't say Springer because it wasn't shot. It oh, was just it's characters. Be awesome. yeah, if, yeah. If you can make it, that yeah. would be awesome because no. uh, can't wait to have you on. Definitely. And anybody else that wants to be on, like, please uh, shoot us a message on, uh, preferably Twitter. But if you don't have Twitter, Facebook, everything's always at Push the Studios. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let us know. I mean, uh, always love talking to you guys. Anybody. Thank uh, you for coming yes. in, reviewing, playing more RP on RPM. Uh, thank you for being part of our chat. I uh, always liked your name. You have to come on tonight so you can explain to us where it all came from. I love it. Yes uh definitely uh like i know what it means but where it came i like how you came up with it. i just, i don't know i just always i like the rpm thing before i dream the stream do i have uh to shave and shower well, for... you can't <laughs> smell you so you don't have to shower. well as you can see shaving is not a high priority shaving so. is up to yeah. you uh, but yeah. the showering well nobody's gonna know so. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so funny. <laughs> I gotta get you yeah. on too. Uh, yeah, well, the, this week we have awesome uh, programming going on. Uh, uh, tomorrow, as we were talking, we have Tuesday Tech Talk as always. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow is just us. And that's gonna be fun, guys. So, yeah, come on in and, and like say, get any questions together you want to know. I really think we're gonna probably touch on plugins for. Uh, for uh, working in YouTube, like uh, TubeBuddy and I VidIQ and that, I'll open up the browser and we can show you a bit of what they do and stuff like that. I also could uh, quickly show how to make a, a cover or a banner in Canvas. Yes. I, I, people always ask, I answer, some yeah. have tried, but that's I just want to show you. It literally takes five minutes, so we can yeah. just share screen for that tomorrow too. So if you want to make a banner, or a thumbnail. We'll show yep. that tomorrow. Very easy and free. <laughs> AOK -okay Forging and Adventures. Like I caught their first stream the other night. That was and that was so amazing. Oh, it was everything I hoped it would be. I definitely keeping an eye out to catch them again when they do that. You guys are so amazing. Uh best <laughs> best friend in thread. Be careful if you are a guest, which studios will uncover your dark uh, past and bring it to light. For example, your Beanie Baby collection will be exposed. Well, now the... when I tweet yeah. I tweet out to her, I always write hashtag Beanie Baby, hashtag rules. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I've lady. been on my dad's four wheeler since 1 p.m. I finally got off of it right at 8. Uh, right before our stream, I've been working on trying to fill in all the ruts in the woods. Oh, they have gotten way too deep. That's always fun. I remember doing that a lot. That's always a great time. 
wifey looking extra pretty today love the makeup yeah <laughs> see I, I don't know if you can see a whiner i should have done unboxing or something <laughs> uh, we went from talking about cars to an unboxing of makeup. Yeah. We could have covered it all. <laughs> I'm back to my liner. I used to be never able to get out of the house without it and kind of forgot about it for a while. But thank you. It looks, it looks really nice. Uh, okay, I'm trying to catch up on the never ending supply of fresh comments. That's mm. so true. Thank you for the stream, push Theo. Thank you for coming yeah. in. Bits of Real Panther. Andrew was on uh, replying comments uh, yesterday and all day today. He posted a new video yesterday, by the way, those of you who haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, the famous and many, many times mentioned <laughs> yeah. video of Young Frau. It finally was put out. <laughs> It was finally put out, but it's beautiful. So please put it full screen before you watch it. It's so worth it. How far am I behind? Today is the 23rd of April, and I always name my files with the date, and that one is called March 18th. So that's oh how God. how long it's been to get it out oh, there. Way so. too long. Yeah. It's time to create a new rut course down the woods. <laughs> um, also, <laughs> don't forget to... <laughs> Uh, support our guest is uh, links in description yeah. below and don't forget Rick, Rick from, from the, the Core, Core Network, guys. Network he needs our support yep. he is so great and uh, very underrated uh, 564 right now and very underrated yeah. and uh, we need to help him uh, just because he's amazing guys i appreciate uh, how much you've supported us porn life, that sort of you've been uh, absolutely amazing and i mean i love every moment spending with you guys and your support is second to none i see so many of the same faces here tonight mixed with new ones and i mean for something that we never thought we would really do you guys have made it amazing but if i could ask you for one personal favor if you guys could take rick from the corn life networks uh youtube uh, his youtube channel uh, linkings and you just posted if you guys can share it anyway just a way to get some more people to uh to uh check them out maybe you'll get some more subscribers like i said i won't do this often this is not my art thing we don't like doing this i'm just doing it for him he never asked because i feel the guy has been kind of left behind a little cut bit these should be yeah cut short because he spent so much time helping everybody around for months and a great way to put it, like I said a while at the beginning, we're at thirteen fifty, and he should be up around that area because we started around the same time. But he's always constantly was helping somebody else get ahead. I would like to try and help him now. His numbers shoot up some. He has a great morning show. Oh, I enjoyed it so much. This yeah. morning was so great. Loved it. It's really kind of a continuation of what we do here. I really think it's kind of we've almost got like well, kind of a start. broadcasting. Yeah, <laughs> the start. It's a yeah, show. it is. No, no, it is, and. and but I mean, like it's it's very just talking. It's no pressure. It's it's relaxing. It's good morning, America. We are a late, you, late night show, and he's yeah. a good morning, America one. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, uh, and I'm most of you probably is supporting, but the ones who are not, just go and check it out. Uh, yeah. Uh, he needs a watch time as well. Um, just go and drop by his morning streams, like tomorrow, I think at nine a.m. Yeah. Eastern. It's just really cool. Get your cup of coffee and just hang around and and chat uh, yeah. about, about stuff. Because I see channels <laughs> in here great. like you guys I've met later on. And I know some of you's got into it fairly recently, and I love how you guys have shot to the top. So I just want to give him a chance because he's helped everybody else kind of shoot up there. He did the we were talking at the beginning. He did the lemon challenge when that was out, and we went and looked at his video the next day, and uh, he was like him and his uh uh fiance brooke were doing it and they're like we gotta hurry and do this because we gotta run over because the uh push is having their live stream right now like it was so sweet i yeah. was watching it after our live stream and i didn't know that they were doing it yeah uh so i just i i almost melted watching it you know like who who does that on yeah, their exactly. own live stream they cut it short they were talking about us half of the live stream yeah. and and came over I, they're just so genuine and so that is so really true say Otto, because uh, he says when you're at four figures you need to look out for three figures 100 percent for sure i mean i don't know how honored uh, how i can say how much i was honored when challenge channels over 1k 
would actually come and like what I was doing. Like it meant so much because they didn't need me as much as some of the other ones. So not that the other channels weren't genuine too. I mean, it's more of a toss up. Most were, there's always a couple who aren't, but it meant a lot. Yeah, and we do go to, and there's some great channels there that I, I see only have 200 and I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. These guys should be a way over the top. Well, for numbers, it's no uh, badge of power. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's just, it's just luck, a little bit of work, a little exactly. bit of luck, a little bit of everything. It's not a, yeah. a badge of power. It's, it's a lot of work, but I mean, he spent most of his work trying to bring everybody well, else up to that. That's, that's the where, thing. if he had been putting it into himself, he probably would have been at least minimum double what he is. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. And he's been uh, like in it, like, I yeah. think even before we started, no? Around yeah, yeah, time. yeah. Something like that. So it's I think it's one of the first contacts we made, actually. I think so. So it uh, yeah. just feels really unfair. So. Like I said, I don't like doing that here. That's not our thing. I don't want to. That's something we want to avoid. Other people are a lot better at that than us. It's just for him. Yeah. I want to do something a little. I was just trying to do something a little different. We were, excuse me, trying to do something a little different. Because part of this channel is being good to each other. And uh, mm -hmm. he's been good to a lot of people. And I think now I want to hopefully help to try and get him a little more people being good. Kasumi. Uh, Hi, I'm back. She was working out while she was watching our stream. Oh, my. Yeah, and then she finished. Uh, I wish I, I should be working I out. Know, I know, I know. She's like, I'm working out. I'm like, oh, no, I should do that, too. <laughs> it's so amazing. Imagine I would be working out here while you, while having a guest, like uh, <laughs> doing like a treadmill thingy or something. Why do women always do that? What? Because guys would be like lifting weights and doing all this stuff. Women, it's always like, I'll do this thing, and it's just like, what, do you like, want me to lift weights? I don't know. No, I just, it's always these little hand movements or uh, like, it's, it's always like, that's how we work out. Uh, like eight elf steps. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. That's all. I'm kind of confused here. Dustin Friend's in here and she always messes with my game. That's what she always does. Don't put the fault on other people. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> So working out is great. It is. Hats off to you, Kazumi. No matter with hand gestures or not, or fingers. <laughs> gestures, no less. <laughs> gestures, no less. I like that. We can't do any because we don't want to be strike, but we could. Sorry that I'm not in your face. My fish shall all, always be comments until the day I die. <laughs> oh, by the way, my family is known for making it to 90 years old. Perfect. Excellent. Perfect. We're for long-lasting relationships, as we, as Andrew always says, for years to come. So since you're younger than we are, you probably are going to oh. overlive our channel. So, and us. <laughs> You're gonna be here after we are done. Yeah, Still exactly. Keeping up with our channel, so. <laughs> uh, it's much appreciated. Um, yeah, Andrew, exactly. Riff rap. Um, <laughs> yeah, I see that. Yeah. Uh, so no, it's a badge of responsibility. When we're at seven, we should help six. Should help five. Should support four. So. On otherwise, the community falls into chaos, and some will get left out, left behind. Yes, exactly, exactly. I mean, it's always a support. It shouldn't it shouldn't be any other way. I, as I said, it's not a power badge. Nope. There are the whole different pieces of puzzle why somebody has one numbers and the other ones don't. It it not necessarily shows the quality of the channel or the videos. You know, just look what is out there, trending and not. I don't think I mean I'm not bragging, I'm not the best and I see people every day way more better than me, but I don't think I'm bad at being a video editor. I think I got okay skills and room to grow. And I think mine were worth more than forty two subs when we started in February. I gave up because it was 42 <laughs> subs in February. I gave it up like basically really was before Christmas. So it is a lot of the luck of the draw. And somebody who does it horribly went a thousand times further than me. And I don't want to be bitter at them. I'm not in that being bitter at bigger people, bigger ones into it and stuff. I want to do my own thing and I don't want to send hate down the line. And they don't owe me anything. And I just want to work with people who have a few who have a lot and just see all of us that know each other i think we all have great content worthy of getting up higher and we're going to do it and we're doing it like i said tonight we got 
what I, I the last I had checked there before was thirteen fifty from forty two in February. You know, and there's people done way better than I have in that. You know, it's this is not the thirteen fifty two. There you go. So uh, just keep no, at I'm it. gonna remember too. Like the numbers are not uh, gauged for quality uh, or for overall objective liking. Yeah. It's not like all the videos are shown. Uh, uh, for the same people, for the same amount of people, and they choose which one they like. No, yeah. so it definitely is very subjective. So uh, people sometimes so attached to the numbers and think that their uh, creations are not worth anything because they don't have enough. It, oh. uh, it is not. Uh, it doesn't show how good your content is whatsoever. It's just needed for algorithm. It's it's not a mark for it. Yes, he dug for compliments, but uh, his videos are great. I, I, I agree. I agree. You know, and uh, it's about helping each other. And I'd like to take up Stephanie from uh, Best Friend Your Thread. And it's good to be here. And, you know, we seen her last night in action once again. And I just want her to know that when she's ready to put down the bottle, us and Alcoholics Anonymous and Niagara are ready there to help her. And we've sent her a phone number and we don't expect her to stop today. Stephanie is on a wild ride, and we figure the booze will only take her further, and she'll pull at her top she's more when she's talking us. and stuff like so, that. And we're just you. we're just gonna stand by her right. until the, she is ready to face it, and she's ready to get the help that she needs. So, Stephanie, remember the phone number. I'll bring it up for you again. I'm gonna post it in the chat. And for, in the meantime, <sighs> saying out on the serious note that we were talking about here, we're trying. Uh, yes, it's very correct. It's a ladder, uh, you know, and we help each other to, to get up there and we know how it is. So we, so we help the ones that, that are, uh, struggling sometimes. That's how it should be. I mean, I always say that drama sells, but you know, drama is that will make people come, but positivism and support is what, uh, let them stay. And I think that's what it is about the long lasting uh relationship between the channels <laughs> the good so i for here for you stuff she has it was an intervention <laughs> no, you guys are not behaving it's monday it's not friday should i remind <laughs> it it's not friday it's monday yeah, good stephanie stuff. needs good sleep she needs a pickle <laughs> and a sleep hug, hug pickle. <laughs> what kind of party do you got going on over there <laughs> I got so. Reese, you're 16. You gotta leave. <laughs> we gotta I got make so sure train on here. I got so inspired by Kalos at Heathen's live that I was watching. But they were talking about pickles and guys. <laughs> and <laughs> so what? funny. What? Pickles and yes. guys. <laughs> yes, they were talking about the guy in the store stealing pickles from the big bucket of pickles, and then they were discussing about. Like, you know, they made him to, t they didn't make them to put the pickle back, but he already grabbed do, the do, pickle. Do, do, do. One of these days, I'm just going to get up and leave him to it. <laughs> and then, and then yeah. you're allowed to do with him anything you want. So. <laughs> just don't bring pickles. <laughs> anyway, it was a very good live. They were uh, they were uh, recording their podcast on Sunday. Usually, they do it on Saturday. <laughs> Sorry, Sumi. I guess you agree with Xenia. We have to have less fun just because it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go to Wild. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys are so amazing. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's the pickle thing. Let's just. Yeah, I was trying to tell you a story about the <coughs> guy yeah. and why I'm talking about pickles right. and about Helos and Heathen's podcast, but I guess you're not interested. <laughs> so I'll just keep it to myself. When Xenia's talking, there's always, there's always one word she finds that she really likes that she put all her emphasis onto it. And she'd be like, I was just trying to talk about pickles. And then we're... I don't think pickles had to have any more attention drawn to it than it already had. Then it will go wild. Yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm always in trouble. <laughs> what else is new? It's Monday, Friday. I'm in trouble. You're just painting me all so bad and awful. I'm, I'm what? <laughs> what was I doing? Exactly. Painting? Uh, hopefully not. Well, that's what it sounded like you said. 
I was just trying to listen to pickles. Like, okay, well then here, you guys talk no, pickles. No, it's all good. It's all good. I think. Yeah. yeah it's I'm all sorry, good. I interrupted. Whoever but... wants to hear the story about pickles, go, <laughs> yeah. go to Kilos and Heathens uh, podcast recording. A Sunday yeah. video and check it out. It's actually pretty funny. You're on the couch tonight. I'm already sitting on one. I'm already there. See, I cut out the middleman and put myself here. So I just gotta just go to bed and have dreams of pickles tonight. We'll be good. Pickles dance through it. Thank you everybody who <laughs> tweeted out our live stream. Yes. Uh, very appreciate no. 44 likes. That's amazing. Thank you. It's... Thank you so much. <laughs> Someone is going to sleep on the car. <laughs> Thanks for having my back, guys. <laughs> well, I was going to be very nice and post a link to your newest video. Okay. People can check it out, but now they will have to go and check it out themselves. So. <laughs> yeah, okay, post. Or not. <laughs> go ahead. Mm -hmm. Uh Okay, so there is the newest video that you, if you haven't watched it, you can uh, go watch it and leave a dislike. I <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> See? Oh, that's not enough, Stefan. Yeah. <laughs> that's not enough. That's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're way past that. <laughs> Might as well as not get any of those anyway. So mm -hmm. it's just piling in a tab, you know. <laughs> is he is he serious? <laughs> About which part? I don't know. Yeah. So much positive. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're just here to warm the heart. That's what we do. We're full. We were talking about like family working together tonight in teams, and we're just continuing on our discussion. So, get her a box of chocolates, flowers, and yes, some pickles. And some <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. I'll get her a pickle. <laughs> Hopefully, that's not a pickle. That's the most people you've had in your live stream at once. Mine was six, and I had 11 viewers. That was my stream live. That was your very first stream, yeah. Risa. You and you did time. very well. Exactly. Honey, you did really yep. well. It was your first one. Do another one. Schedule it ahead. Put it out there. The more you're going to do it, the more people are going to come. We uh, didn't start, uh, you know, it was a we very were, slow we were, start. It was, so. Well, until we were kind of, we kind of jump started because we were on James's live stream. Mm hmm. And like I said, nobody knew kind of what we were before we went on there. So there was that mystique thing. So once we came on, everybody's like, oh, you should do it. You should do it. We hit a 1,000 subscribers almost what a week. We were on once. And then we went on again on the panel. And then we hit it a couple of days later. And the next night, we hit a 1,000 on the, on James' well, we live only stream. Have, uh, we, all, we were twice. So we went once. And then the next time, we already went uh, watching yes. our 1K roll. Yeah. yeah. And then we went on the next night. was our first time. Our, our first own. night. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So. To celebrate 1K. Hmm. Yeah. Having I don't know if it's pretty, but it is funny. Yeah. <laughs> Auto, is your stream last night or the other night you were saying something about using TubeBuddy to brand your thumbnails? Yep. What do you mean by that? We're you actually going to do that tomorrow night uh, in uh, Tech Talk. We're going to we're going to really go in. If anybody here wants to know more about plugins for YouTube and stuff like that, it's not going to be the whole time, but we're definitely going to cover that. We'll cover YouTube. Uh, we'll cover TubeBuddy. We'll cover VidIQ. Uh, maybe take another quick look at Social Blade just in case somebody doesn't know any about it, and maybe even do Morning Fame a bit. Can we show any? That's hard to show, eh? Morning Fame. Yeah. Yeah. I I I was gonna. Well, I already put the invite link before, so I might put it tomorrow again. No, no, but that we could do like a screen share. And maybe. Show. That way, because that one really goes very deep into the channel. I so. could also do the canvas, as I was saying, about thumbnail and uh, banner creation in five minutes. Because I can just see the question about it as well. So we might do that too. Brother Dunn, wow, you guys are really giving her tonight. Just finished boiling down my last bit of sap into syrup. Oh, that oh, is so cool. Oh, send some over, mm -hmm. my God. In the gas oh. where I'm from, they have so much snow this year, it's going to probably screw up the yeah. syrup. I know my father sent up two hearts of sugar for the kids. Anybody doesn't know the old traditional way for maple sugar 
the mold uh, is uh, actually like a big heart about I don't know, about that big. Uh, it takes, and if anybody else doesn't know, it takes roughly 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. So it's a lot of work. Um, yeah. Uh, ball caps. And why are you telling me this? I, <laughs> well, uh, Is I, it the sudden I, I revelation always, uh, or something? Will continue when I was... <laughs> <laughs> it's like all of a sudden, like out of nowhere. Oh, and by the way, I steal milk. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> God, it's so funny. Um, okay. I don't know if oh. to say that it's bad or just kind of great. Or <laughs> I don't yeah. know. What did you expect with that? It was kind of out of nowhere. But thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you. Saint Otto saying I'm doing those kind of uh, videos on Saint Enterprises. Exactly, exactly. And he's got some really good step by steps on there. Uh, I want to uh, bring that up when you're on with us as well. We're definitely going to uh, plug those. He's got some great step-by-steps uh, uh, -step on how to use those plugins and stuff. So uh, I'll make pancakes. <laughs> She's yeah, on. pancakes with syrup. Yeah. Coffee with syrup, not with sap, brother. Done with syrup. <laughs> <laughs> sap. I don't know how you could drink that thing. <laughs> My God. Right. If for those of you who doesn't know, brother, done. On one of his videos, he was trying um, to have coffee with uh, um, uh, with sap in it. Yeah, he put the, uh, that was quite interesting. You gotta be careful with sap. Like he boil, like it's boiling through a bit in the coffee because you drink too much of that, you're gonna get very up and close and personal with the porcelain. Uh... Reese, it's probably because you have paused it for a second or something by accident and unpaused it. Just put it uh, to the end of the video and a red line at the very end of the screen and should be just fine. yeah that uh, happens we all do that it's my start to spring special drink yeah i just yeah. wondered how many hours after you had to spend in the bathroom i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have too much of it he was probably playing on the borderline with it yeah because i'm sure he's well aware too. bailey's yeah bailey's is great with coffee i don't mm. know about the sap still though welcome w Moore. there's another channel connected with recently good yeah. to have you here so I love seeing that. There's nothing more rewarding than find, like you know you find a new channel, you connect, they check out one or two your and then they come on the live stream. That means so much. Yeah, I mean, Reese branding exactly. Yeah. Say now, no, it's something that is going to distinguish your channel from other channels. That by looking on the thumbnail, even not knowing what the exact video is about, they are going to know of association that it's your video. Like I, I've said here time and time again, in the last year I've redone my thumbnails about four times to finally get where I'm happy with them. Um, I want to differentiate between the lives and the uh, and the standard uh, uh, cinema videos that I do. And I change pictures. And I, always remember, you cannot look at a picture and say, oh, this is going to look cool as a thumbnail, because a lot of times it won't. You've got to think thumbnail when you're looking at your picture. You want something with high contrast and it's very bold. Because people are only going to be seeing it like this big, but when you're looking at a Windows uh, view or whatever, let me turn that a bit more. You, you know, you're looking at it like this big, but remember, in the end, it's only going to be like that. So, contrast is key. Lots of contrast. Anybody who's ever flown, you know that a lot of the food that you eat in a plane and stuff like that has been had extra of uh, extra spices or flavors added to it because at high air high altitudes, you lose part of your taste buds. So they compensate for that the same way with your thumbnails. So like a, in that way, like the food in the ground wouldn't work as well in the air or vice versa. Same with pictures, something you would mount on your wall or use as a background on your computer doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work well as a thumbnail. And I see that a lot. Um, I'm trying to think of an example. Say you did like a country video. You're showing like a rural setting and you have like a beautiful sky. You got a barn with a nice long field. Well, that's beautiful as a picture, but if that barn is taken like almost a, a kilometer away, by the time you shrink that picture down, that barn is like that big, and it's just all kind of a yellow and some blue. It, it, it's nice, and it will look nice in your video, but it's definitely not going to look good as your thumbnail. There's the one where you want like maybe the side of the barn with a bit of the blue sky and the green, so you get all three colors like kind of pushed into one. Just take a piece of it. That's a big part, too. Uh, anybody who's ever done any amount of photography knows that. 
the difference between a photographer and somebody who's taking pictures, if you have a building in front of you, say this barn again, the person just taking pictures will always stand back and get everything always in the frame. You know, they'll walk back to make sure. The photographer a lot of times will take a quarter of the building. They'll take a, a picture of like the, the edge of the barn with the door open partly and like some sudden ca light cascading out of it because that sets mood. And that's something to really watch when you're doing your video, your thumbnails, or your, like uh, still photos. Uh, in the video I just did uh, of Jungfrau up in Switzerland, the mountains, you, it is all moving photos. And you'll see I did a lot of that. Even though the whole picture, you could see all the mountain range, a lot of those have been brought in to 50% to just focus on certain peaks and have them pan out slower instead of just panning back to show everything. Because if you do that all the time, then it looks like a Windows video maker. In that, when you, you know, one of those ones you just drop all your pictures and it automatically puts the transitions in. That's the difference between doing stills and making them look more professional cinematographic is to, to limit how far they come back. So, if it say that peak is here, I maybe only have it zoomed to here, but the picture itself is out like this around that. I'm using only maybe 50% of the picture, 60%. And always work with photos bigger than what you're going to finish with. I'm seeing that a little bit, but actually people are quite good at that, is taking a small photo and trying to make it fit the screen because you're going to start getting the what we call the Pac-Man effect right away. So I wanted to say hi. She's to been Hustle. talking for... <laughs> I see her. The I wanted to say hi to Muskie <laughs> Hans uh, that just came in, yeah. and to MBS Travel and Photography. Uh, <laughs> awesome videos, by the way, uh, especially the ones about total solar eclipse. Really enjoying that. Uh, thank you uh, a lot uh, for that. I'm back to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I just noticed that. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Pops and pops. Reese is so funny. Uh MS MBS travel and photography, another great channel. There's so many great channels. River Bend Longbow's outdoors. Do you have your trick shot Tuesday coming up tomorrow? That is so cool. Remember the one I showed you with the, the shooting the balloon at the same time? Mm -hmm. The bows. I gotta go back and I think that we missed the one last week. I want to go and look again. Got a great channel, it's very kind of eclectic. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, merci, Manoa Fish, pour vie ici ce soir. À la prochaine. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. So glad to have you here. I just want to open up your channel for a second. Oh, right, 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 right. Now I remember. Now I remember. We are connected. I have the worst memory in the world for that stuff. It takes me months of getting in. <laughs> That's why I'm glad you guys keep coming back every night so you don't make me look bad. couple of weeks with Zach Flor. Excellent. I, I, I thought that I, I love your channel. And that Trick Shot Tuesday was such a smart idea. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, getting better and have some hard disk space. Yeah, like we're running... Uh, we have a server that's uh, actually underneath of our television, and it's a case by Silverstone. They don't make it anymore, the GB08. And it looks like a, it's basically a tower turned on its side, and it's made to look like a TV, uh, a home theater receiver. So it blends in pretty well on the stand. And we're running two, four terabytes, uh, six six or seven three terabytes then there's a two terabyte and then uh i think there's a one for cache and then we have a ssd that's running it uh who else oh you're gonna get there soon reese don't worry you're on the right uh 
move up two supporters, you move back four. That that happens. That's all part of the game. Everybody's been through it. Oh God, oh my! Uh, River Bend Longbow is outdoors. I had an eight track in my '71 Cougar RX7. I left a Rush album in there and just left, played to death. Eight tracks. I remember that's with my father with his uh, Ford, uh, not Ford, his Chevy, uh, Chevy Custom. And he'd had those eight track tapes in all the time. Mind you, it wasn't Rush. It was lots of nitty gritty dirt band and bluegrass. I didn't mind nitty gritty dirt band. I, I had bluegrass I could have done without easily, but MSV, I could Google better. I meant Google better. Have some hard disk space to store all those videos on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, like YouTube is talking about cutting down now. There's been talk about it cutting down the long live streams to two hours, and you can't really blame them. I mean, server spaces, it comes at a premium. they got to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for these computers to be able to store this stuff. We kind of think it just sits in midair, but it does have to sit in a computer somewhere. I think soon you will have to start paying for these options. As soon yeah. as there are options for Facebook and yeah. Instagram now and, and Twitter starting, you'll just have to pay. And even Outlook now is a premium Outlook. Yeah. Uh, you would just have to pay if you want probably more hours or more videos at the same time or something. In the like end, they're a business. Coming. And I mean, it really, it's been a very generous business to give us this kind of platform with no nothing to pay. I mean, yeah, they do some things that really suck to us. And there's some days I want to pull all my hair out. But in the scheme of things, we've got an option to do something that's never been priced. Uh, uh, it, it's an amazing time we live in this world to have this opportunity to do what we do. Get noticed, get to meet people like you guys, get to create. And that's whether you do a vlog, whether you do beauty tips, whether you work on cars, whether you make cinematic movies, whatever the case, we have a forum. You couldn't even dream of this, you know, uh, 20 years ago. We were living a really amazing time. We were looking the other night at some of the old videos I had made for school. Yes, I think in the stream uh, Saturday, you were showing people yeah. what you made. And that was a that was a lot of fun. That was I hadn't seen those things in a long time. Um, yeah, Stephanie, it just it's coming eventually. Uh, everything, as everything. They have no other choice. They got to do something. I mean, they just can't keep. Uh, Look at all these channels that are under. You know, like are not gonna get the watch time and 1k at the same time yeah. they're still going to be making videos why would they keep them they're not generating revenue they're just there for them yeah so that's when eventually probably the payments are going to come in okay. hopefully we won't get hit too hard so if you if you like funny stuff did you see the chicken dance or the limbo contest from uh bugapalooza <laughs> no no, I did not, but I'm intrigued. Oh. Guys, the volume won't be too loud, but... That's because I'm not lifting up the microphone? <sighs> no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's all good. I was just showed this one video because it was the other night when I hauled it out. When I was in school in 2000, I had to do a video project. I, I took uh, video editing, and that's when the the um, Cadillac Escalade was first released. And I loved the vehicle, and we had to, I wanted to do something special for my final. And after about four weeks of negotiations, I was able to get the raw footage on beta tape from uh, GMC Canada to be able to make a, a video. And it's cool because when you see a car commercial go happen, it's 30 seconds. But when you see the raw footage, you see the car pass at the same ankle like 20 times and then from the helicopter 15 times, so on. And I was able to transcribe it. It was a big job back then. It wasn't easy. And um, I got to do this commercial for Cadillac. And uh, once we... Uh, once I was done, I was in touch with the girl, the liaison, who helped me uh, get the footage, and they uh, wanted to see what I made, and they liked it so much that they put it on their website. So in theory, I was the first person to ever, at least in Canada, back in 2000, make a, a video for 
for GM a Cadillac that was on a website, which was pretty much unheard of back then. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it well or not, but we'll try it. Uh, going we're back oh welcome s 2 w themes welcome 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 we're just on your channel again today they got a great video uh, uh new york uh they were in new york uh they did a live stream on a video i missed the live stream they were streamed for i think it was about 20 minutes or so yeah, I've been lately seeing them in different live streams as well. They're supporting people a lot. That's great. They're awesome. Love them. Marina's Toy Box. Hi. Welcome. So glad to have you here. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we just connected not too long ago, I believe. Eh? She's having a 500 people subscriber giveaway. That's always good. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, I know anything giveaway. Xenia is always into that kind of stuff. She's always telling me all the time, or I tell her if I see one because she gets right well, into it. Well, it's always worth to try all the contests that are out there. You never know. Yeah. No. Like last year, for example. Yeah. Um, there you go. You know, I it, it may be because where I come from, it's very rare to win something and, and especially something bigger. So I, when I came here, I'm just applying to all the contests and everything just in case and uh last year we won an ikea contest you had to supply like a, a article and pictures about uh sustainability and like a lifestyle how how do you save like uh, either water or food or energy uh, so i i applied with an article about how our, uh, our family is saving on all that and but we got a gift card so now we have new curtains and carpets and lights a whole bunch of stuff i'm happy for you i just realized that i poured the last of the coffee into your cup so there you go karma <laughs> is a beep. there you go <laughs> right step hmm. um I'm going to do a 20,000 giveaway, 17,000 from now. <laughs> I love your smile. <laughs> well, it's a good outlook. It's a good outlook, I must say. Yeah. No, it's always great to win. Yes, I, I know. It just was more nice because it, it uh, you know, could update the, the place that we live. And, you know, we definitely needed lights, so that's for sure. Uh, St. Otto, I have been trying to upload that video since Saturday evening. It's at 73%. My God, what are you uploading? Are you from the phone? I, I have heard that lately people have issues uploading from phones. Some people have stuck videos, like, for days. Positivity, uh, River uh, Riverbend Longbow's Outdoors says, Yes, you're right, and there's nothing wrong with, it, with positivity. Good for you. And dream big, guys. That's what I like to see. The Southwest themes of saying over the back oh, a few a minute ago or so that it was nice to catch us live. We're so glad to have you here. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, we. It's it's, our, I love these channels. Like you guys have been there since the beginning. You know, like uh, it's those familiar names. I, uh, you know, we've gotten to know you guys as work personally. Um, we'll have to get them on. The are they on? Are they on the list? Uh, no, I'm gonna uh, oh. get in touch with us. Uh, Southwest Themes, can you guys uh, send us a message in Twitter? I'd like to connect with you guys. I'd love to have you guys on as a guest. And actually, another one right here is River Ben Longbows. I would love to have you on. If you're on Twitter, if you can uh, uh, contact us. I mean, eventually, well, one of. 
Try anybody to... really yeah if you all you guys be a guest, just dm us yeah. on twitter and if you don't have twitter find us on facebook or instagram mm -hmm. at push studios we've had stephanie on from uh, best friend in your thread she's good but she gets a little r-rated so we got to be careful with her but other than that just don't give her no alcohol before she comes on kind of do the opposite of springer with her <laughs> oh, I, know, I know that wouldn't take her long to reply back well that might be the problem yeah maybe we should get her all liquored up and we'll get our ratings no going. i'm just oh. answering reese oh, okay sorry i thought you meant good <laughs> don't forget stuff dude we still got that number for aa for you if you <laughs> thank you kasumi for coming in and staying yes. with us all through your workout and after good luck with your exams yeah. and talk to you later everybody how it was doing with your exams everybody have positive thoughts for okay we're wishing you the best uh, you're gonna ace it i know definitely yeah a foster internet would help it's uh yeah, you guys are doing Saint Audio. You guys have been doing a lot of videos. You guys have been really busy. That guy is like a machine. Like I mean, because he's got his work and everything else and all that. It's crazy. I don't know where you find the time. My hat is off. Excuse me. My hat is off to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Stuff to you came because of me. Of course, bottle caps. Everybody comes here because of you. Well, we just received a, <laughs> a, a, a an awesomely kind message from Corn Life on Twitter. Uh, unfortunately, they it couldn't be on. Uh, as you know, he had some health issues lately too, so just trying to get better. But he's very thankful for everything, mm. for all the support, and uh, uh, that's what makes him do things what he's doing. So that's mm. amazing. And we are going to be on Thursday. Mm. Thursday, coffee time. Yeah, we're going to be on. Th Get yes, guys. Ready. Thursday morning, 9 p.m., 10. Uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. We're going to be on the Corn Life Network with Rick. Uh, uh, like the, We've been talking about him all night. And if you haven't subscribed to him, please do. This guy has done everything for everybody else and kind of left his own numbers. Yeah, please come Thursday, yeah. 10 a.m. Eastern on the Corner Life Network channel. Coffee talk with us. Yeah. Rick and hopefully Brooke as well. Yeah. Get your coffee cups ready. Just sit back Yeah. or put your headphones on if you're working and uh, listen up. Yeah, no, exactly. It's going to be really nice. And I know it's in the morning, so if you're working, like when you come home, uh, go check him out. And if you're not subscribed to him, I think he's – you'll never ask for a better supporter than Rick. Uh, the guy has spent all of his time supporting everybody else to the point that his numbers, they're just not where they should be for him. And that does kind of bother me because I believe when people really go out of the way to help other people, they deserve a bit of a reward. They deserve a reward as well. And he's the last person to ask for one. Like yes. He's the one tonight that would be saying, you know, like he's touched because he'd be usually saying, well, no, see if, you know, he'd be trying to help one of you guys to get higher. So, yeah, sir. So, of course, it weakens internet. And that's probably the cause of your stuck uh, video there. It's probably not uh, constant enough. Yeah. Bottle caps, I'm going to check the flowers you sent me earlier. And Where are they again? In the Facebook? Message? Yeah, in the business. Message. He wants to share them. He wants to show them off. He wants to show a kind oh, of a, okay. uh, that's what he wants to do. He wants to, to well, wow think... at the women. Because <laughs> he's he's always on the prowl, that guy. Let's see here. So let's get his flowers up for him. I haven't seen them yet. Oh, you haven't seen them yet? No, I haven't had a chance. I'm assuming definitely. it's in the page manage, uh, in the push uh, Yeah, yeah, in the inbox there. Okay, push studios. Inbox. Oh, okay. Uh, well, congratulations, St. Auto. What's I was because I got this open. I oh, can't they see. have uh, they're talking about their sales. Oh, you did uh, you had a good uh Uh, yeah, they. Sorry, I just uh, got a bit confused here. Uh, my sales dropped by ten thousand, but I still have super seller status. And Harold's is top salesperson of all state in Dalton and third in the state of Georgia last month. Wow! Congratulations, Carol, Congratulations! Yeah, well done. That's amazing. They're such a way awesome. to such... go, guys. Yeah. You've been. You are so. 
you give back to the community and i think yeah. again karma or yep. whatever you want to call it that's right comes back in good ways so yep it um, is please tweet post to thursday that you're going on there uh i will forget that so we'll, yeah in the morning we'll do that in the morning definitely we'll definitely talk about it on wednesday on our wednesday stream uh and uh wednesday we have a travel inspired guests a T J H travels on yeah that's uh, so we're gonna talk about that then uh, we get so many channels to talk with like that's why i've seen the so, so with themes i think they sent you already i think that it's so nice to connect with so many great channels here like this i'm honored to have you guys like and uh, you guys wanting to be on really means a lot bottle caps flowers there you go oh really that's what is on now model caps wow oh the grass is not green at all and the trees don't have leaves still it looks like summer here but it's not oh thank you bottle caps you're so sweet <laughs> Yeah, that was that was so sweet. Oh, Miss Kathy, hi. Climbing in a bed, but so you're still alive. Oh. I didn't want to pass up opportunity to support and say hi. Just don't laugh, otherwise <laughs> your husband is gonna wake up again. She laughs and then the bed shakes. <laughs> She's such a character. <laughs> She's so amazing. Uh, it's nice to and I catch their videos that like it's one of those ones where I'm doing all the the answerings and stuff like that so i'm only seeing them at like two three in the morning your you and your daughter have been doing so amazing this month with your videos and that like it's so nice to see um it's nice and she looks like she's really enjoying doing it with you that's what's so nice about it um tonight we had on uh uzo lu which i'm sure you know and uh the, uh, we were talking about family, and of course, he works with he does the videos with his son about cars and everything, so ties right into what you're doing with your daughter. And it was really nice seeing that kind of yeah. Stuff. And did you know he's Greek, half Greek? <laughs> She's so amazed by that. Now we know it. No, I like yeah. always to find that one completely different thing that nobody would have thought of uh, people, you know. Uh, having like me was the engineer was really great to find out i'm so excited to talk oh about yeah it i mean yeah, yeah so the, the story behind it was amazing but the respect i have from and i mean we all kind of went through it i mean we're around, him and i are around the same age and talking about the mid 2000s and you know i know detroit especially place like that got hit really hard and i uh I, I have so much respect for a person talking through them and that you know and seeing what he's got today and his son and what they're doing uh I really respect it's always good to meet people that remind you that anything can be done and you know good people do get ahead so I That's sticking with me a lot, sir. I still think about it in the back of my head. So I know you're still there So I just want you to know that um, So I'm just dropping the link probably one last time. Oh, that's great. I'm uh, still watching the most of them. Oh my I have so many uh, why do I have so many tabs open here? That's awful. <laughs> okay, so I'm just dropping a link again, once again, uh, whoever haven't supported our guests tonight to go and check it out. Uh, it's awesome. There you go. And they were amazing, like a uh, really great talk. And I knew they were a little nervous at first because I could see when we how we used to feel <laughs> into it, and it sometimes still do, or a lot. So it was nice to see them relax more as a camera, you know, and you could really see them ease into it. And that, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was so nice to see. I, th I think you guys should uh, you guys should look into doing it, you know? But I don't like pushing that kind of stuff on people. That's just suggestion. When you feel the time is right and you feel comfortable. Bye, natural journey. Sorry, I missed, missed you. And you'll get a lot of suggestions from everybody on YouTube. I mean, a lot, everybody, most people mean well when they're doing it. But in the end... It's your channel and never let go of that. And that's very important because you sometimes people mean well and it can work out wrong. And sometimes people don't mean well and are making suggestions. But you gotta stand fast on your channel is represents what you want it to be. This is the most exciting time in the in the history of mankind that we can be producer, director, set designer, actor voice actor 
everything from start to finish and have a chance of like either growing really big on YouTube or guess what? There's nothing wrong with having our day jobs and doing this and building up some people who really love what we do. It's a lot better chance of that becoming rewarding. But with that apocalypse, a lot of people were almost shocked at what was going on. But the thing was, most of us were never going to get to that point anyways of the ones we watch are bigger. But we can't hate them for getting bigger either. It's the same as musicians. I've always used that example of walking down the street to a metro station. You see a guy playing on a street corner has 10 times the talent of anybody you've ever seen with a record deal. But unfortunately, life just doesn't work that way. Most times, somebody was just lucky enough out of the hundreds of thousands of people to get a break. And it's the same with YouTube. Apocalypse didn't change much. If anything, it gave you a better chance of getting a break because it actually got a lot of us to get off of our ass and do something about it. Where before, it was just kind of... And I'm still not doing it to get rich off of this. I'm doing it hoping that it will make me a better channel that I'll put out better content, like we're doing right now at the live stream. It's got us to venture into something we never thought we would do before. Oh, exactly. It's and open it's up doors. It's always about challenging yourself to doing something yeah. uh, maybe a, a little bit uncomfortable at the time, and that's how you learn. Yeah. The mistakes and new challenges is the only way how to learn. If there, <laughs> I haven't edited much lately, but I had a golden rule since I started editing again. Every time I make a new video, I want to learn three new things. That's been my goal, and that's what I feel has helped me make better videos. There's no use to say, oh, I'm going to, yeah, don't look at what somebody's doing that has a production team and they're putting tons of money and they've been do, doing it for 15 years. It's the same as trying to play guitar like somebody. I remember struggling over a song one time, and I forget who it was. We'll just say Van Halen for a little, but it wasn't them. And I'm trying the song and nothing's working out. And it's one of my friends said, do you realize the guy you're trying to learn the song from played for the last 20 some years, eight hours a day. And that was a big revelation. Cause it's like, yeah, why am I beating myself up? Cause I can't learn the song when this guy has been playing for 20 years with that much practice. There's no way I can do it like him first try. Uh, and it's the same with video editing or it's the same with uh, whatever hobby you do that you bring here. Don't set your goals so they're so unobtainable that they just bring you down. But set something that you're always growing a little bit. And I really liked it for me. Now, somebody else might find a better way. Three new, three new tasks to learn every video. Three new things that I couldn't do before. And you slowly increment and get better and better. Uh, S2W Themes uh, says, this is why I like coming here. You guys are so real, and it's awesome to have the opportunity to get to know more. Oh, it's wow. becoming natural, the vibe. Uh, <laughs> nothing wrong with making money, say Nato saying, as long as you plan on doing some good with it, not just wasted on hot rod show cars and tools. Like <laughs> and a shout out to Miss <clears throat> Kathy's so daughter, Jessie, who hurt her foot. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, it's a bruise and swollen in her arch and ankle, and she is in a special shoe for a week. It's going to be mm. they just uh, came from um, emergency. Uh, sorry to hear that, poor baby. I just yeah. uh, I, I just had my own ankle uh, yeah. hurt for a couple of weeks. I understand how hurting it is. Well, my tell God. her that we we want her to get better real poor soon. Poor baby, my God. Send her our love from all of us. We're all thinking Especially about it. Especially with the summer, you know, spring coming up, uh, you want to be outside. It must uh, must be hard on her. So big hugs. Yeah. Phil Cockrum or guitars at St. Otto. Exactly. We all have our vices, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what a great community you guys all are. I do catch myself just staring, thinking that sometimes. Yes. You know, I'm looking at the, the people in here, and it's it, it's really, it shows you through all the riffraff and all the people losing and gaining subs, and people, you know, sometimes they come to your channel and they say they like your stuff, and you know they'll never be back again. It's nice to see the names that are here, because these are people that I've seen for a while, and some new ones, but I, I see where they're coming from, and I see the way they're connecting with everybody, and uh, it's really nice. It's really hard. It makes you feel like Makes you feel like you're not wasting your time. I hope you guys get that as well from this. Yeah, Miss Kathy listened to bottle caps. He had a, he was a paramedic for thirty years. Yeah. So um, 
<laughs> yeah. I think he, I think he just said that to impress women sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what he said. So I tend to trust. <laughs> yeah, Trump. Please. Yes, exactly. Mr. <clears throat> Vengus Games and Toys. I hope I pronounced that properly. I hope. Uh, welcome. Great to have you here. You guys have brought out the best in us. Oh, my God almighty. Um, well, it, this is... Sweet. There's no competition here. There's no fighting here. I wish we could just, you know, all have, like, the cameras on. Like, yes. whoever, how many people are on no, the I stream. Know. And just kind of have like, yeah. their hangout for everybody. That is, it is on. So. Who's a little word? We, we are meeting great people. Definitely. Mr. V. Well, welcome, Mr. V. Mr. V works for me. That sounds like a plan. That sounded like a rhyme. Oh, it's catchy. I like it. <laughs> Andrew brings up the worst to me. <laughs> was that ball caps? I don't see it. No, the other one. If it's not ball caps, who is it? Best friend? Yeah, that's right. Best friend. Huh. Huh. There's, I never thought of that before. I think she should start trying to live up to her handle a little more. I I know bottle caps. That's what I was saying. Like it, it it is. It's daunting, and I've had to start letting go a little bit and using the heart. And I hate to do that. I hate it, and I still catch myself going back. Like I showed you a while ago, I'm starting to go back again now and trying to fill in the blanks of people that I didn't get to uh, to. Uh, comment on but it's just sometimes it's too much like if we take a day or two and do something on the weekend i come back to, you know there's a couple hundred comments it's just i can't do them all and i really want to comment and go watch another video that's been my way of doing it since we started doing all of this and it's worked for me i was trying to do it so i'd always keep more of a like try to build a connection right away I went and liked somebody's video, and then they came back and watched one of mine. The very first thing I did before I replied to their comment of mine was run over and start another one of theirs and watch it while I was replying there and then letting them know and saying, like, you know, so, like, I hope we can stay connected. Because I do believe it is. I, I, don't, I don't want people to think I'm there for a one-time shot. I really want to start off right away on the right foot. But as the channel grew, and, I'm, I mean, I know I, there's channels lots – we're a minuscule flake in the scheme of YouTube things, but already it's getting harder. That's the whole reason why they put in the heart was the big YouTubers were saying we got to have something instead of just putting a plus because they didn't know it was us. And they just couldn't reply to everybody anymore. Uzulu, it's hard working with a, a PC. It's hard, it's hard with working, etc. Sorry. Yes. It is. I mean, we still have jobs. We did that christening. I still got to get to the video, and I'm going to have to like do it under the gun, which I've never had to do before that close. But it's just part of, I guess, we like doing it enough that we just try to make time for it. You guys are lucky sometimes in that part because you get to at least go do a job that doesn't involve this. It gives you a bit of a break from it. When I get tired of this, I got to go and do it f with as much heart as if I hadn't done it in weeks. It's, it's hard to, the lines are so blurred. Uh, I, yeah, see, St. Otto, I'm still watching commenting right now. Exactly, 100%. I don't know in the last time I've, well, there's very few times lately I've been able to just put on a video, sit, and just watch it for the sake of it. It's usually when I'm, like, going to bed or something. Uh, best friend in your thread, at least... Uh, at least wifey is sweet to me. Andrew better get those chocolates, flowers, and diamonds. Oh, I'll get right on it. I'm sure she's expecting. I buy my own chocolates. Okay, okay. Don't get carried away. I do do some sweet things for you. They're don't <laughs> for us are getting hate mail and everything. <laughs> well, oh, I, I actually okay. did today. I, I yeah. Yeah, you did today. That's yeah. true. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm not even. I'm not even going down that rabbit hole. Mr. V, we talked uh, once in Orteo's studio stream. Yes, now I remember you. Yeah, there was only like two or three of us. It was later oh, on. Oh, Cassie, it was so funny. Yeah. Well, good night, and I hope to see you soon. Hope Jesse feels better. She has to turn off the light or leave the room. Has been pulled through. 
<laughs> doesn't let him sleep. Sweet dreams, uh, Kathy. And yeah, we're going to be on the Corn Life Network Thursday morning at 10 Eastern. If you're around, love to have you. Yeah, Kathy, there is this uh, app that actually uh, it's called Sun uh, Sunset, I think. Uh, and you can actually put down the temperature and the brightness. It's even <laughs> less bright than your lowest setting of the phone right. for brightness of display. It basically can't almost see it at all. And it's better for your eyes anyway if everything is black. I sometimes use it when I have migraines. Uh, yeah, that's just irritates, right. irritates eyes so much. Um, I have to go now. Good yeah. night. Thanks for coming, Philip. Thanks for coming and, and staying around. And even though, like, Xenia read what you wrote the other night to us, I want to thank you once again because I seen it today when I was going through the, the comments and stuff. And uh, that's one of, like, the nicest. Yes. Yeah, I just loved it. It was yeah. so extensive but very deep. Yeah. I loved it. There's been lots of comments in general. Very amazing. Well, guys, we've been going for three, almost three and a half hours. So let's say another 10 minutes and then we'll. <laughs> <laughs> you do think that's how it's going to end? <laughs> I do like it. I do like it. I love just yes. sitting around with you guys and stuff like that. It's amazing. Like, we don't even watch TV anymore. We were watching Billions this morning, and I don't know yeah, how many episodes are getting caught oh, up on. Oh, yes, I have so many shows. Well, Westworld just started again, and I, I got to catch up on that. Uh, you didn't watch it all the way through it with no. me. No. But I, I kind of I like those kind of different shows. My, mm. my, my uh, <laughs> latest different favorite show was Leftovers, and then they went and they finished in, in the third season on purpose. Like they only had this in mind, like three three seasons with that concept. No matter how popular it would get, they didn't want to do anything more. That's good. And it was so good, so good. And I, I miss mm. it. So Westworld, if they turn it a little bit better, spin maybe it can contend with it. And does anybody of you watch Westworld? <laughs> I don't know. So the West themes, hey uh, a, a YouTube is entertaining enough, fellow wall. Yeah, it pretty much is, and I love it. It's just sometimes it's amazing when you go and. You know what's weird? I even talk to people now, and I've noticed that, like, in grocery stores with my parents, I talk to them like I'm commenting on a YouTube video. It's like, thanks, cheers, and uh, hope to see you again. <laughs> like, yeah, it's especially like, awful when I have yeah. to do it on Instagram, for example, when it's completely yeah. different uh, rules of commenting, and then it's yeah. like I'm writing, uh-oh. Larry yeah. Johnson's here. Hi, hello. Welcome in. I don't know why. I just love his hand. I just love it because it's so. It's the, one of the only like normal names, and everything else. Like that when you look down the list, so it just sounds like a musician. It just stands out. And we present you, Larry Johnson. <laughs> oh, that sounds kind of cool. I saw TV five years ago. I never miss it. Yeah, we don't yeah, have cable anymore. No. Uh, we didn't use it for a long while, and then just decided to get rid of it since it was just expense. Another expense wasn't used, so uh, we stream a lot and watch on internet. A lot of things are available out there. Oh, the latest thing I watched there online was actually uh, for those of you Canadians, bottle caps, maybe you know, uh, a very Canadian show. Animated. Oh God. Corner gas. Oh, corner gas. Yes, yes, yes. The animated corner gas. I thought it was that friggin' no corner it gas. We yeah. watched corner gas when we uh, met. Andrew uh, introduced me to Canadian culture through corner yeah. gas and Family Guy. Very different right. uh, opposites of mm -hmm. <laughs> of the spectrum. But now they started to make animated series of corner gas. So I watched them online because they're available for free on Comedy Channel, which I've never thought it would be there for free. <laughs> I like what so. South the West themes. Uh, I agree. Uh, sounds catchy. Larry Johnson. It does. Has other sports figure or like. Uh, God help us, like, the 70s uh, erotica era. It has that, like, cool, I don't know, something cool about it, the whole thing. Larry Johnson. I just love it. It's it's because it's a, a normal name, but it's just got a bit of a ring to it. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. Thank you so much for coming to my rescue, Southwest. Yeah, it's stupid, but SQW, it reminds me, Corner Guest, the actual TV show. That's why I guess I have the warm feelings 
fuzzy feelings because it reminds me of our, uh, you know, watching it together at the beginning. Maybe yeah, that was the first that. Canadian show I ever yeah, showed Yeah, so you. it's more of the association yeah. of us starting uh, going out and stuff. That's why. Yes, uh, best friend Larry Bird meets Magic Johnson. Exactly, exactly. Uzulu, no. yes, good night, and thank you so much for being <laughs> our guest uh, tonight. Uh, what a blast. The kid said he had a great time. Well, we uh, hope so. I know yeah. it's not the most uh, probably exciting thing to do for a 16-year-old, but no, um, I really, really appreciate you guys uh, coming on our uh, channel and talking, mm -hmm. and it was really great. It was nice. No, and he, he handles himself well. For a young man of 16, he did really well. I guess I'll call him young man. Sound like I'm lecturing him. Uh, Larry Johnson, LOL. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're enjoying us just bantering back and forth about your name. It's his real name. <laughs> what do you guys talk about in the streams? Well, uh, our, um, we have a guest at the very beginning. Oh, at the first part of the show, we have a guest. And we like to get close and personal with guests, getting to know people behind the channels, yeah. connect more to understand more what they do, where they come from, what they do besides the channel. It's a little spotlight for the channel, but mostly talk about everything uh, besides that. And then uh, at the end, we just chitter chat with uh, our uh, chat, interact with uh, supporters, uh, talk about everything in the world Tuesdays. We have Tuesday tech talk. So tomorrow I'll come back and we're going to talk about uh, Tech stuff like uh, plugins like bottle caps asked what is plugins some time ago uh, Like YouTube uh, videos like photography and Andrew's burning down the house <laughs> <laughs> What you doing there I'm trying to put it aside <laughs> I'm telling guys, I think one of these times I really will have to call 911. Call you need water or something? Uh, and then they put up with me the rest of the night. <laughs> oh, well, we miss you when you're not here. We can notice right away. So, but it's interesting. Sounds so nice and supporting, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, every night, almost every night, we have uh, a different guest. Um, Sometimes we're just two of us, uh, and other times a guest. Most of the times it's a guest. We stream from 8 to 10, Pardon, or mostly for a longer. <laughs> Andrew's still burning down the house. Uh, from mm -hmm. 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern every day, except for Sundays. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, by the way, for those of you who are still here, um, I'm doing a special live stream on the 12th of May, and I'm going to be announcing it uh, uh, later on, probably at the beginning of May, uh, talking about uh, chronic illnesses and invisible illnesses. Uh, 12th of May is me action and millions missing, hashtag millions missing day. Um, in support of people with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome, which I have, and also other uh, invisible and chronic diseases. So I'm, I'm going to talk uh, about that, uh, maybe have a few guests talking about it as well. Some information, some tips, uh, some sharing. So if you have it or if you know somebody who has any chronic invisible illness, uh, or you just want to support and raise awareness, then 12th of May at 8 p.m. Eastern is going to be the day. But I'm definitely going to be announcing it more as it comes closer. What's the emergency number if your house on fire? <laughs> well, thank you for... <laughs> I don't know why you're asking Stephanie. That's an interesting way of getting her number. Yeah, 911. <laughs> That's right. I thought he was trying to get your number. See? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My name is also in the old movie Super Troopers. Interesting. Cute. 
Carol Sane, hi, hi, congratulations, by the way, on being the one of the best salesmen, women, saleswoman. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> yes, guys, so thank you so much for being here. Thank you for support. Uh, you always, as always, you're awesome. And uh, come back tomorrow. And don't forget to like and comment on this stream after it uploads. And let everybody know how awesome it, wa it was. And um, yeah. Thank you for having us. I am so glad you've got, you made it after your work. I know you must be tired and it's Monday and especially after streaming. Thank you. You brought me a cookie. Now the close up of the cookie, yeah. Thought you talked about chocolates. That's the cookie that he brought. So thank you. Um <laughs> as I said in programming, yeah, Remy more high. Uh we're just about there. <laughs> we're just about to end couple minutes um yeah so tomorrow we are gonna do the tech talk uh wednesday we're gonna have atgh travels uh very cool uh and thursday we might have a very interesting corky show uh still not confirmed um friday we're gonna have sane auto that's right carol and Saturday, Kathy, hopefully, with better feeling Jesse and maybe even her husband and sons. So it's going to be family time. So amazing uh, plan for this week and, and some already planned for next. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, looks like he took a bite out of it. And well, that's, that's what I mean. But still nice, though. Still nice. Um, nice meeting you guys in the stream. Yes, thank you. Come back. As I said, every evening from 8 to 10, well, more likely to 11 and longer, p.m. Eastern. I don't remember, guys. Do you, any of you, remember when was the last time we finished it at 10? I, 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 I can't even honestly write anymore when I do a promo stuff that it's going to end at 10 because it never does. Good night, everyone. It was fun for sure. Take care, all. I will try to tweet you guys. Yes, uh, you gotta follow us to message. So we are following you. Uh, you gotta make sure that you follow us back to message. And yes, guys, if you notice, if you can't message somebody on Twitter, that's because either they are not following on you or you're not following them. It has to be both sides following each other in order to be able to message. So just make sure if you want a private message. If not, just tweet. Tweet at us at Pushsa Studios. Uh, and that's also the way you can find us everywhere on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Just put at Pushsa Studios in Google, <laughs> and there's going to be a whole bunch of things coming at you. Mm -hmm. Anything to add? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were probably waiting to get that cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three children here. They said that you already took a bite of it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, thank you for lighting up my night. <laughs> Giving me the benefit of the doubt and the great work. And now, Stephanie, it's time for your live stream. Yeah. <laughs> now that the. Uh, the family show is done. You can head over for Stephanie's raunch of the evening. <laughs> I'm still waiting for those vlogs, babe, yeah. okay? You got to do the vlog coming mm. back from work. St. Otto, so great to have you here. Looking forward to having you a couple of days. The lady was in, too. Carol oh, really? was in, yeah. We oh, just she's congratulated a uh, oh. her for being the best saleswoman. That's amazing. Yeah. I, I'm sorry I missed her. Well, she's going to be on... Friday as well, right? Yeah. Perfect. Friday. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Stephanie's Rod Shower. <laughs> That's what <laughs> Ride with Steph. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Where did that come from? No, because I, I wanted her to do a vlog on the way <laughs> on the way oh, back. Excellent work. name. Excellent name. <laughs> Excellent name, you nailed it. On the way back yeah. from work, she would be vlogging <laughs> about her day. Oh, Carol, you're still here. I don't blame you for running. <laughs> Good night. I promise things will be better on Friday when you get here. Congratulations <laughs> to you. Yeah, you know, my <laughs> oh my god almighty. You really like the picture behind. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a picture from Ljubljana in Slovenia. Slovenia. Yeah. Which Andrew took in one of his trips uh, to Europe. This one was the backpacking train trip. And this is a picture from then. Yeah. And that's all, like which people have seen before, all of our other countries we've been to. There's some here. They'll go around the room. Oh, I yes, that would be. Uh oh. Is that. <laughs> well. Bear with us, guys, for a second. <laughs> close your I eyes. I didn't realize that wasn't. Get sick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We didn't tighten the base tonight. I don't even tonight. say anything, but somehow I get blamed. <laughs> you didn't get blamed. That's encouragement. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's something. The what? <laughs> it has a great color. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You're going to just have to bear with me for a second. The yeah. picture has a great color. <laughs> there. Look at the ceiling. God. Yeah. Like we said, we run a tight ship. Have no worries, Carol, when you're on Friday. You're in good hands. Good God. Maybe our 10-year-old mod is going to be on, too. Yeah, exactly. Maybe he's. That's why we can't get it together tonight because he's not here. Well, Thurl is not on too, so all the mods are gone. Okay. They they build ships. Sorry about the. <laughs> sorry about the little trip here. The 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 webcam we got is uh, uh, on a base, and that's great until you uh, use it a couple times. You forget you got to keep tightening it up, or it comes loose. I wish I would be drinking stuff. <laughs> And this is, I think, uh, Zag um, it's uh, Austria. Oh, yeah, I thought it was yeah. Croatia. This no. one, no. okay, Zagreb is uh, right here, yeah, okay, oh. okay. Well, seeing stars, yes, yeah, I know I'm not moving it anymore. <laughs> I know I'm saying, oh, you're saying, oh, no, stuff saying it now. Who's drinking seeing stars? Yep. Yeah. Why do you have uh, numbers by, and I don't, no. by your chat? Oh, you just enable it. Just go up into the dots. Yeah. And put uh, toggle time straps. Ah. Time stamps. Okay, now I know. Yeah. Have you been to Greece? No. No. But would love to. I would love to go on a, a drive from. <laughs> uh, yeah, I Portugal. wish St. Otto was still here to hear this one. <laughs> Portugal uh, from. Porto or Lisbon, uh, go all the way down the coast of Mediterranean coast uh, to Italy and Greece and all there. Basically a 4,000 kilometer drive and then we'll just well, work we our way back. we have done a couple of times going from one coast to another in Canada. What would be the difference? We kind of broke that one up a little. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't mean that it would be in one sitting. So stay overs. We didn't go from one end to the other at one time. My God, oh my God. You're killing me, woman. <laughs> she, I like that she, black crown molding you have on the ceiling. Oh. Yeah, I like that, too. My mom, in Soviet times, she decided all of a sudden, she got a can of uh, cherry red paint, okay? A, like a pint of, of, of paint. So, like, what do you do with it? Can't, no, it's like, but no, she traded for something, I think, and she got it. So what she did, she painted a door frame. We had a double doors in, to go uh, to the living room, and she painted door frame in this cherry red. <laughs> Everybody loved it. It was different. We got to do story times with you. Yeah. You'd, you'd be good at those, actually. Yeah. I can see your comments from today, but you would really appreciate them. No, I, they'd be very descriptive. And... Yes, I will take the ride with you, Thelma and Louise overseas. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Imagine all that wine and Porto, Porto and oh my God. I just pictured it. Like wine, wine, the seas of wine. Lots of whining. We got to do that. Mm. 
whining mm. no it would be just the, you know selma louise there's no other names there so i don't know whining doesn't happen when there are only women no no well, uh, whining, <laughs> whining happen when there are men involved that's, that's when right it happens. <laughs> oh and by the way it's brown dark brown we have uh dark that's brown horrible. crown molding and the what Baseboards. is it? Baseboards too. Yeah. It's uh, dark brown. And our bedroom wall is blue. <laughs> One wall, turquoise. Yeah, it, yeah, it's sea blue, like kind of thing. Yeah, kind of like this, but a bit darker. And then the rest is all kind of like a sand color, and then it's reddish yeah. brown uh, moldings. So you feel like you're on the seaside. Yeah, we made the beach. Yeah. Xenia likes to sleep at the beach, so that's why we made our bedroom look like. Yeah, one. I miss Baltic Sea. Yeah. That's why. I grew up by water too, <laughs> but I don't miss it. I don't care. What did you call it down, hon? Love an epic road trip, exactly. <laughs> and then we would vlog together. Holiday road ride with Selma and Louise overseas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my girl, I gotta go to the to the Niagara Falls this summer. I gotta see you in person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. Oh, I'll put that back. Guys, it's been a lot of fun. I grew up by a pond. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Bottle Caps lives on the rock mm -hmm. in in the puddle. Uh, and and Joey is just a rock away from the rock <laughs> that uh, Bottle Caps <laughs> lives in. We already established all the patterns of living. He's there. not going to live on a rock for long once him and Susie hook up. So. Yeah. It's just a short amount of time. Somebody was living on top and somebody was living under. Yeah, and you put Susie. a rock between them. Susie yeah, was under. Susie, yeah, Susie was under <laughs> and Balkas was on the That rock was your room. whole. Uh... Yeah, we have we have it all established. So. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Hey, take you care. We just come out of the yeah. West Coast. I know. I know. No, here beaches are really good too. Uh, they are more st like uh, rocky. They're more stone. Take care, MBS travel. Thank but, you so uh, much for coming. Yes, I would love to go to um, further BC. Mm -hmm. Only been as far as Golden, so still good though. Thanks. It was fun to be here. See you next time. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Come back again. Really enjoying your videos, by the way. As yeah. I said, so come back again. Love is in the air. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll finish with that. We didn't see Susie coming in. Yeah. Uh, she probably is tired. She says um, she's uh, rubbing some coco coconut mounds or something. Yeah, so. she's getting, <laughs> gathering her coconuts together. <laughs> That's right. She's got a lovely bunch of coconuts. So say so hi to her if you see her yeah. between <laughs> now and then. And yeah. uh, enjoy your evening, guys. Uh, be creative. Yeah. We'll come back tomorrow, Tuesday Tech, 8 p.m. Cheers, guys. Keep creating.